Doctor, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome all of you in this today's webinar. Today's webinar is on medicine from the ocean. It is an important subject. And in Ayurveda, we have a very, very good and effective medicine from the ocean. Today we have two eminent speakers, Dr. R.S. Hiramat, Dr. Bharat J. Roti. I welcome all the eminent speakers, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, to this webinar. And I declare that today's webinar is open. Namaskar. Thank you to all. Thank you. Thank Namaskar. you. Thank you very much. Now I would like to request as valuable blessings from the DCG for few words. Definitely in the last, he will have expert opinion. Then also, blessing Mahajano Yenagata Sapamtha. So, I would like to request for blessings from Dr. Om Prakash Daditi Ji. Welcome, sir. Dhanyavad Pavan Ji, Vishnu Prashad Ji, or Agni Hotri Ji, or Sishya Sab Jurewe, Sabi Lokshya. Namaskar. Dono eminent, who our speaker is today, who is the speaker of today, who is the speaker of today, who is the speaker of today, मेडिसिन्स के ऊपर वो बहुत ही समसामयिक है बहुत अच्छा है लोगों को पता चले कि कितना मिलता है केवल सीप वराटी का शंख या कुछ और दूसरी चीजें मोती प्रवाल यही नहीं मिलते और भी बहुत बड़ा खजाना है वो सब चीजें वहाँ मिल रही है हमको और वो सब के बारे में आज जो विचार सुनने को मिलेंगे वो बहुत ही अच्छे और ज्ञानवर्धक होंगे मैं इस वेबिनार में जितने भी लोग जो प्रबुद्ध जो जन जुड़े हुए हैं उन सब का अभिनंदन करता हूं और दोनों स्पीकर्स को जो आज इस पे देने वाले हैं विषय पे अपना व्याख्यान उन सब का उनका भी अभिनंदन करता हूं कि उन्होंने बहुत अच्छा सब्जेक्ट चुना है वैसे तो बहुत सारी चीजें मिलती है और उनका प्रयोग है लेकिन हमको कुछ नवीन चीजें भी इसके साथ मिलेगी ऐसा मेरा मानना है बहुत-बहुत धन्यवाद नमस्कार आप सबका अभिनंदन बहुत-बहुत आभार था बहुत-बहुत आभार अब मैं डॉक्टर भरत राठी जी का आह्वान करता हूँ भरत राठी जी भी रसास्त्र से हैं और भरत राठी जी बेलगा भी करता है सॉरी वरदराती जी तब मैं छोटा सा परिचय देना चाहूँगा एक मिनट सब प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ रसायन एंड वैसेज कल्पना महात्मा गांधी आयुर्वेद कॉलेज एंड हॉस्पिटल एंड रिसर्च सेंटर वर्धा बड़ी पुण्य भूमि से हैं राती जी और रसायन के हैं मैं भी रसायन से ही हूँ 89 में एमडी किया था आदरणीय हरिशंकर शर्मा जी के अंडर में जामनगर से और उसके बाद इमामी में और झंडू में रहा तो आपसे आह्वान करता हूं आग्रह करता हूं कि आज के विषय पे अपने सार गर्भित मार्ग निर्देशन की कृपा करें जी सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू वेरी मच Screen visible, sir? Yes. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. So uh, today's on the occasion of Ocean Day, a very <coughs> apt topic is chosen. 
for this uh, for sharing the knowledge of rashastra to the all uh, eminent people uh, if we look at the title here that is mentioned here as exploring the therapeutic potential of medicine from ocean uh, just we will have a, a detailed explanation regarding this title and background as the ocean uh, having the water which is uh, bluish in color and the medicine which are obtained from the ocean especially in rashastra they are mostly they are white in color but these white drugs they are having the golden linings and hence that uh, letters are also uh, depicted in that manner so uh, i think uh, with this prologue uh, i will start my uh, knowledge or the lecture on this topic as the medicines from ocean in today's class uh, we will try to identify the medicines which are obtained from the ocean then uh, their classification as described in rashastra that is sudhavarga they are uh, enumerate we will also learn about their shodhan and maran processes and their therapeutic utility and uh, the recent researches which is carried out in the scientific or the ayurvedic fraternity uh, let us have uh, know about the ocean as ocean occupies nearly 70% of the world surface with 36 known living phyla is found in marine environment with more than 3 lakh known species of fauna and flora such a rich uh, medicines are available from the ocean marine products obtained from sea also came in existence and found place in medicinal world ocean is the biggest natural repository providing a huge number of materials many of which are pharmaceutically important and hence most of the pharma also looking towards the ocean and they are in a uh, mood to start the ocean pharmacy or pharmaceutical uh, marine pharmaceuticals in rashastra minerals metals forms the major source of medicine and also a uh, major source comes from the ocean and classified it into the various groups by the various classes mostly the medicine which obtained from the ocean they are mostly classified in the sudhavarga drugs and if we look at the uh, date packs regarding our ayurvedic literature uh, we get the references regarding these all the drugs sudhavarga drugs and other drugs since sanhita period in charak samhita shushrut samhita sudha shankha mukta pravan vamshalochan these references we found everywhere in the very first text of rashastra that is rasarana also included the few drugs like sudha shankha kaparda or kumar prashta uh, and they have classified there uh, with the name as shukla varga later rasamrutam uh, has described all these drugs under the sudha vidhyanayam in the special chapter which included sudha khatika godanti kumara prashta and sapen surma later in rasaratna samuchay which is said uh, supposed to be the most systematic uh, text of the rashastra have included the two drugs that is kapardika and agnijar in sadharan rasa and mukta and praval being its precious nature uh, they are included in ratnavarga in rasa tarangani which is said to be the latest text of rashastra in 20th century have Uh, given a separate chapter for the sudhavarga drugs and included almost all the drugs of the previous text uh, like shankha shukti shambuka samudra phen and so many other drugs and describe their all the methods purificatory methods marana methods and their therapeutic utility in a very elaborate manner later kurma prashta that is the turtle shell was also added and in lavana varga especially samudra lavan is also added in this group being it is derived from the sea so uh, if we look at the sources of the drug mostly in ayurveda the sources of drugs are classified as changam dravya that is the drugs which are derived from the animals or they are which is having the animal in origin then outbid third group second group is outbid which is the drugs of plant origin 
and the third source is parthiva that is drugs of mineral origin but if we look at the drugs of animal origin most of the animals they come from the ocean or the sea and hence we can say that the uh, drugs which are obtained from the ocean they are of animal origin if we look at the list here uh, we are having almost 10 drugs uh, which are of marine origin and which are used in rasha shastra especially as a sudha varga drugs or the calcium compounds they are shankha that is kansel shambuka which is known as australian sel mukta shukti that is the pearl oyster kapardik kauris samudra fen that is cuttle fish bone praval that is coral mukta then that is pearl kumar prushta that is turtle shell samudra lavan that is sea salt and agni jar that is amber gris all are of marine or the aquatic in origin having the chemical composition mostly calcium carbonate and they contain one of the most important uh, mineral that is calcium from around uh, 50 to 94% so these drugs as they are rich in calcium and hence known as calcium compounds uh, in today's class uh, lecture we will see uh, or discuss more about their utility and their preparatory methods in therapeutics uh, mostly as we know in rasha shastra the drugs which are used they are having two types of uh, uh, reasons that is they are used either for loha veda and another is deha veda loha veda concept is that ki which is a science that convert the lower metal to the higher metals and the deha veda concept is that it is the science that helps in making the body strong like metals and uh, which is used for the therapeutics to uh, cure the various serious ailments and make the body like uh, strong like metals so these are the two important concepts loha veda concept and the deha veda concept just how the look ki how these rasa drugs or how these sudha varga drugs or the drugs which are obtained from the um, ocean or the from the water water source Uh, commonly known as sudha varga how they are used in the rashastra for the loha veda concept uh, the very first one is that is the parad bandha uh, parad is having the chanchal and durghar durgrahya property so to conquer this uh, mostly the sudha varga drugs are used later in jarana process uh, where the heating of mercurial products with the desired minerals metals and alkalis or salts in a different ratio so that they are fully assimilated or digested with the intent of boosting their potency and therapeutic utility kshaarabandha is one of the important bandha where parad get processed or parad uh, bandha is achieved by processing shuddha parad with shankha shukti kapatta basma such kshaarabandha uh, of parad enhances the appetite nourishes the body and reduces the pain in the abdomen turtle shell is used to facilitate the incineration process of vajrabasma that is another use of the turtle shell and shankha drava which is one of the important preparation of all sudha varga drugs in a liquid form helps in liquefying the metals like gold and in shodhana process of hartala with jyotnodaka so these are the few examples where uh, sudha varga drugs are used in rashastra in the various processes especially to potentiate the formulation if we look the internal use that is the deha veda concept but uh, before use for the internal internally or the internal administration the drugs which are obtained from the ocean or any uh, source of drug must undergo a few processes and these processes include starting from the collection then pharmaceutical processes and then the safety and efficacy studies then only if it is found safe non toxic then only we can recommend it for the human being in the collection process we must also learn about or we must think about their occurrence where it is obtained what are their acceptable qualities or the properties which are also described in our text rashastra text very thoroughly so we must take the drug which is Uh, acceptable quality which is having the acceptable quality that drug only we have to collect and go for the further process that is the pharmaceutical process 
which includes shodhana, marana, or the pishtikarana. Shodhan is an impor important process where we are doing the shodhan to remove the toxic or the uh, toxic nature of the drug to minimize the toxicity of the drug. Then maran is done uh, which, where we convert the drug into the basma form and the few drugs are there uh, which are uh, converted into the pishti form which is one of the very specific preparation of the rashastra uh, pishti karana. So these are the pharmaceutical processes but once we prepare these um, uh, medicines they must uh, taste uh, whether they are having any toxic effect or not. So for that purpose, we must undergo a preclinical studies which includes the toxicity studies or the various pharmaceutical or the pharmacological studies on the human animals. And then if it is found safe and non-toxic, then we must refer that drug or prefer that drug for the clinical trials on the human being. That under that uh, shows the safety and efficacy study. So these uh, are the various processes uh, which are described by our acharyas before being used for the therapeutic purpose. Now we will go one by one uh, and their various processes and their therapeutic uses uh, in the various diseases. The very first drug is Shankar. As we know, uh, it is a very auspicious drug. And uh, since uh, Vedic period, that is since Mahabharata period. Uh, it is the largest class of mollusca containing the species that includes snails, slugs, limpets, wakes, and the most characteristic feature is spirally coiled shell enclosed with visceral mass found very commonly in Indian Ocean coast. It is the empty shell of Turbinella rapa belonging to the mollusca group. Uh, commonly known as shank or having the various uh, synonyms commonly uh, known as Samudraja being it is the source or the origin is Samudra that is the ocean. Kamboj, uh, Kambu or Sunad being it is uh, used for developing the sound uh, or you know on a species of vision in the temples. Dirghanad, another synonym and mostly it contains uh, carbonate of calcium, iron, magnesium sulfate, phosphate and chloride. And mostly the all the Sudhavarga drugs have the chemical composition that is CaCO3. Uh, mostly there are two types of shankas are there, and uh, the shanka, which is a vamavarta, that is called levorotatory or the left face, is a very common and used for the medicinal purpose. Uh, this one, which is used for the purification, incineration, and for all other compound carbonation. The another variety that is called as Dakshinavarta is said to be the very rare one and uh, uh, considered as the auspicious and uh, used for in temples to blow the during the prayers. Therapeutically, it mitigates all the three doshas, and it is said that uh, the Dakshinavarta Shanka must not be used for the medicinal purpose. So uh, we can uh, easily identify whether it is uh, left faced or the right faced. The in our Shastra or the uh, Ayurveda text, uh, their uh, acceptable properties are also described. Ki if we found that the uh, Shankha is having this and such property, then only we can uh, accept it for the medicinal purpose. The Shankha, which is round body with smooth external surface, which has small opening towards the base, which is clean and bright like full moon and the one which is lengthy and heavy is considered as the base sample of Shankha and used for the Shodhan and Maran process. Uh, this is a Shodhan process uh, which I have tried to show here uh, because uh, Shodhana uh, is a very uh, important process uh, in the pharmaceutics or the pharmaceutical preparation where uh, Shodhan of Shankha is done in uh, Dola Yantra especially in the uh, all type of kanji or amlaswaras or the chitraswaras for three years and after spedan shanka pieces are washed with warm water dried and used for the maran process that is for the further process so this is a dola yantra where the shanka is being boiled uh, into the liquid especially the sour liquid kanji or amla or nimbuswaras then the next step is maran where we prepare the basma of this uh, shanka where a Shodhi Shankar is placed on in Sharavasam. Then Sandilepa is done uh, 
this is the method where there are two methods are used for this Marana process. In the first process, uh, where, uh, where the Shuddha Shankha are directly placed on the charcoal, burned charcoal, and <clears throat> later they are powdered and uh, get triturated with the uh, Kumari Swaras or the Nimbu Swaras. Chakrikas are prepared, small pellets are prepared, they are put in the Sharavasam put, like in the uh, as the <coughs> this diagram, uh, and then the putta is given. Especially gaja putta is prescribed, and such two or three gaja puttas we get the fine white colored shanka basma. So this process is repeated twice or thrice. Mm -hmm. uh, after cooling, it is finely powdered and stored in the glass. The calcine product is more therapeutically relevant and biocompatible because particle gets converted to a nano or sub-nano size particles. Shankabasma is said to be ideal one when it does not irritate the tongue when tested. So this was uh, one of the tastes uh, which suggests that our Shankabasma is prepared up to the standard or not. This, these were the tastes which our Acharyas have suggested. If it is not irritating the tongue, then we can assume that the Shankabasma which is prepared that is of standard quality. If it is irritating, then again we have to go for Puta and uh, give the Gaja Puta. Uh, by this way, uh, prepared Shankhavasma is of Kashaya and Katuguna, Lagu, Hima, Shitavirya, then uh, it is a Grahi, Balya, Lekhana property, Agni Deepana, Parina, and Ishakana in nature. And uh, that matra or the it should be uh, advised to a patient in a dose of 125 to 250 milligram with nimbusvaras or the liquid water. And uh, important formulations of Shankha Basma uh, are Pravala Panchamrutrasa, Shankha Vati, Agni Kumara Rasa, Shankha Dravaka. These are the few formulations which are very widely used uh, in the Ayurveda fraternity or the in the free physicians. And they are mostly indicated in the dyspepsia, digestive impairment, colic, duodenal ulcer, asthma in such diseases. Uh, there is another uh, group of Vedas who are having the practice that uh, they use the Shankha Basma along with some another drug in combination and they treat the diseases. So here are a few uh, traditions of the Vedas, especially in Maharashtra also they follow such practices uh, where Shankha Basma with Nimbuswaras is indicated or is uh, advised in Atisar or Grahani. Shankavasma along with Triputi Churna in equal proportion uh, uh, is used in Agni Mandya. Shankavasma along with Amalki Churna is the best remedy for Amla Pitta. Shankavasma plus Panchalavana plus Buddha is uh, used in Parinama Shiva. Shankavasma plus Bharanti Churna is used in Shwasa Roga. Shankavasma plus Haridra plus Puga is Chandi Roga and Shankabasma plus Mulakakshara is used externally for the Kapha Jagranthi. It is triturated in water and that lepa is applied on the Kapha Jagranthi to reduce the same. So these were the various Amal Prayoga or uh, uh, single drug therapy, what we can say, along with the suitable Anupana uh, and treat the various uh, digestive disorders. Uh, here I would like to share uh, one of the very interesting facts uh, regarding the Shankha Basma formulations. Uh, recently, we have gone through the Bharat Beshaj Ratnakar, one of the very important formulary of Ayurveda, uh, which uh, includes more than 10,000 formulations. Uh, if uh, we have gone through that and uh, we search uh, through our, with the help of our PGs, and we found that uh, Shankha Basma, uh, where the Shankha Basma is one of the ingredient and such around 144 formulations are there in Bharat Vaishya Jatnakar. From that, we can uh, identify the uh, how much potential of this uh, Shankha Basma is having. And uh, this Shankha Basma is not only uh, used in the form of tablet, but they are in a different formulations like Anjana, Basma, Churna, Gruta, Kashaya, Lepa, Modaka, Taila, Varti, and Vati around the 69 types of vatis are described where Shankha Basma is one of the ingredients. And they are mostly indicated in various types of digestive disorders. Then come the second drug uh, from this uh, ocean, comes from ocean as a source of ocean, that is Kapardika. 
again kapardik we know since the mahabharata kala which was one of the very important uh, <coughs> dice uh, it, it is used also dice for playing the dutta and uh, uh, also it is known as balak kridana kapink it is uh, played by or it is used as a toy by the small kids uh, it is a small convolute glossy shells of variegated colors of oblong oval shape very in size the upper surface is smooth shiny and convex base is compressed with a cleft in the center which runs longitudinally tooth on both sides and channeled at each end and mostly it is found in indian and the pacific ocean uh, so uh, there are also different uh, varieties of the kapardik are mentioned and in shastra especially there are three types of kapardik are mentioned uh, <coughs> like uh, sarda nishka bhara shrestha uh, nishka bhara cha madhyama padona nishka bhara cha panishta parikritya means the kapardika which is uh, having the uh, one and a half nishka bhara that is of 6 gram that kapardika said to be the ideal one madhyam kapardika is uh, which is having 4 uh, gram weight and the hina kapardika that is having 2 to 3 gram weight must be considered as inferior so the kapardika weighing 6 uh, gram that must be taken for the medicinal purpose uh, swedat uh, it showed uh, swedan uh, shodhan is done in dola yatra in kanji for 3 hours and maran is done in gajaputa and for such 2 to 3 gajaputa best quality of kapardi pasma uh, is prepared it is katu and ushna agni dipana pachana rushya grahi and netra uh, in agni kumar rasa its formulations important formulations are agni kumar rasa grahani kapat rasa pravala panchamrut rasa which is very important preparation loknath rasa is another important preparation of the kapardika sukhavati varti Uh, all these preparations are used in agni mandya grahani parinama shula amla pitta karna strava and nitra rogas uh, if we think about the single drug therapy kapardik basma is used uh, in karna strava kapardik basma plus samudra fen is very effective uh, in kasa roga it kapardik basma must be used with vasaswaras in agni manda chikitsa it must be used with trikatusaras as we have seen with uh, shankha basma also grahani chikitsa uh, shankha basma plus trikatu churna uh, if it is given uh, we get the better results uh, in the same way uh, kapardik uh, preparations also in bharat uh, desh jatnakar uh, we found there are around 44 kapardik preparations are there where kapardi basma is one of the ingredient out of which 35 are of vati kalpana that is a uh, which contribute nearly 93% and remaining two formulations are of churna two formulations of anjana and three formulations uh, contain potadi uh, so uh, these were the various formulations uh, where kapardik Uh, basma is used as one of the ingredient uh, why because these different doses forms are developed by processing the raw drugs in a significant manner for their better absorption distribution metabolism and excretion so the variety of forms of preparations are advised the third uh, drug which is obtained from the ocean that is the mukta shukti and jala shukti uh, mukta shukti <coughs> being it is known for the pearl oyster Uh, being the pearls are developed or produced in this uh, mukta and hence they are known as uh, shukti and hence they are known as mukta shukti the oyster is a type of shellfish found in ocean and coastal inlets an oyster shell uh, consists of two parts called valves inner part is lustrous smooth and outer part is striated it has a soft edible body inside a hard two piece shell uh, being it is uh, the pearls or the mukta or the moti they are developed in this uh, shukti and hence they are known as mukta shukti and without uh, the mukta they are known as plain jala shukti uh, chemically they are having the same chemical composition that is csu3 
they are shodhan specially is done in amla dravya or the jayanti patrasuras and marad specially three gajaputas the fine white colored uh, mukta shukti basma is prepared uh, it is mentioned that uh, that basma should be like uh, white snow that is the hima kundendu sankasha color or basma is prepared uh, this basma is a madhura smigda balya deepana pachana and rakta pitta hara and it must be ad, uh, administered in a dose of 125 to 250 ml uh, if you look at the formulations uh, there are many formulations which attributed to the shukti mukta shukti basma uh, the there is uh, shukti basma and pravala panchamrut rasa uh, which specially uh, improves the taste perception colic pain heart diseases dyspnea urinary calculi and stomach disorders uh, if we look at the individual or the single drug therapy there the, the udara roga with yavakshara plus sandav lavana or samudra lavana urinary calcula it must be given along with tuna panchamula kwata and in amla pitta it must be administered along with swarna makshika basma and yavakshara the fourth drug is pravala that is coral uh mostly it is uh, classified under the ratta varga group due to its precious nature and a bright nature bright appearance it is a uh, animal life uh, called anthozoan polyps it is said that these species are attacked one another continuously that appears like a tree shape great barrier reef of the coast of queensland australia where it is found abundantly uh shodhan is specifically done in jayanti patraswaras or the sarjiksha in dolayantra for triyas and the maran is done with the bhavana uh, by giving the bhavana with godukta and uh, lagukuta is advised uh, for this pravana when the high degree of temperature is not necessary with the uh, lagukut the fine uh, white colored basma is prepared Uh, another preparation is done with the pravala shuddha pravala that is the pravala pishti which is one of the unique preparation uh, uh, pravala pishti uh, which is done by giving the bhavana of uh, uh, rose water triturated it uh, for 21 days and it is also said that if it is done in the moonlight then the efficacy or the potency of the pravala pishti get enhanced Uh, it is kshariya and madhura lagu shita deepan achan tridosha har and balya and the dose is 60 mg to 250 mg uh, there are very important formulations of the pravala like the pravala panchamrut ras very important formulation mukta panchamrut ras kasturi bhairav ras utpak visham jagan tak loho apurma valini vasan so these are the uh, important formulations which are very widely commonly used by the ayurvedic physicians and they are used in kshaya kasa jwara rakta pitta excessive sweating this is one of the important one excessive sweating it is used netra roga it is used with the amala kachuna in raktarsha it is used with the swarna vairi kachuna and in prameha it is used with the guruchi swaras in jirna jwara it is used with vasat malviras so these are the uh, indications where this pravala pravala basma pravala pishti is indicated the next drug is again mukta which is again of uh, ratnavarga group which is included in the ratnavarga and uh, uh, which is obtained from the mukta shukti uh, pearl is a hard object produced within the soft tissue of a living cell molas chemically it is also calcium carbonate like the shape naturally harvested from the indian ocean red sea persian gulf and mukta obtained from the shukti is considered as the best variety acceptable quality which uh, mukta which is white light weight smooth bright in color clean uh, round shape uh, must be considered uh, superior and such mukta can be taken for the medicinal purpose shodhana is done in jayanti patraswaras agastya patraswaras or churnoda boil it for 3 hours in dola yantra then wash it and dry it and use for the maran process maran or the mukta basma is also done by giving the lagu kutas and such after three lagu kutas fine variety of mukta basma is obtained uh, it is madhura shita in a properties and dipana dahashamana rushya and ayushya 
the various formulations are mukta pishki yakuti ras vasanta malti ras pravala panchamrut ras uh, it is also used in jirna jwara strengthen the bones and teeth kashaya shwa akshaya shwas and asti shosha mostly it is used in all type of uh, bone disorders uh, being it is uh, rich in calcium Samudra fe another drug uh, since uh, this found in the sea and uh, looks like the fruity mass and hence the name as samudra fe uh, it is the remnants of creature often found floating on sea water 1 to 3 inches in width and the 5 to 10 inches in length the skeleton is an oblong elliptical or the oval flat substance or the whitish color uh, very hard and brittle and many a times it can be scratched with the nails Uh, the cuttlefish high or the sea floor is a, in a shallow water uh, it's shown uh, being the adhesive properties or adhesive drugs which are uh, generally found with the samudra fen they are scratch with the knife and make it to the fine powder and triturated with the nilkusvaras dry it and then the such powder is used for the therapeutic purpose Uh, for this maran is not indicated and after purification we can use the samudra fen for the therapeutic purpose uh, this is given directly after the shodhana and having this lekana deepana pachana property most of the samudra fen preparations they are used uh, either externally or in the eye diseases and uh, if we look at the formulations most of the formulations are in the form of varti like uh, sukhavati varti drushti prasadana varti दंतवर्ती लेखनांजन और महानील गुटिका सो मोस्ट ऑफ द प्रिपरेशन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वर्ती एंड दे आर मोस्टली इंडिकेटेड इन आई एंड डेंटल डिसऑर्डर्स दुष्टवर्ण कुतिकर्ण एंड इंक्रीजेस द पेरिस्टाल्टिक मूवमेंट ऑफ इंटेस्टाइन ऑल्सो गुड फॉर आईज एंड स्किन डिसऑर्डर्स वी आर हैविंग इंपॉर्टेंट प्रिपरेशन और यूज ऑफ द समुद्र फेन फेयर Uh, the polyrium that is the kajal uh, prepared from the samudra pen pippali and sandal lavan uh, is indicated in shukla dosha that is the eye diseases of the sclera again the uh, avarti is prepared with the samudra pen one part tutha is taken as a one six part and haritaki is taken one six part and the avarti is prepared which is used in the pothaki that is one of the another eye disorder uh, what we call it as a trachoma then uh, in another preparation the fine samudra pen powder is effective in the ear discharge where we are directly uh, putting this uh, samudra pen powder into the uh, ear where there is a karna strava or discharge in ear equal amount of samudra pen and mudar shunga with honey is used for the faster healing of the wounds thus we can uh, look with these various examples uh, where samudra pen mostly used for the eye disorders various eye disorders as well as uh, in few uh, cases it is used for the external application this the uh, another drug agnichar or commonly known as ambar or the ambar grease uh, again uh, in ayurveda it is uh, included into the sadharan varga uh, due to its uh, potency or it is its uh, importance towards the parad jarana it is a solid waxy flammable substance of a dull gray or the blackish color produced in the digestive system of sperm whale as a secretion again there are few uh, controversies regarding the identification of the agnichar where ayurveda uh, in ayurveda they consider that it is a jarayu of agni nakra animal but uh, uh, recent uh, researches uh, clear that it is nothing but the digestive uh, Uh, it is a product which is a digestive system of sperm whale as a secretion it can be found in the atlantic ocean and on the coast of brazil madagascar and some other countries coast stop indian andaman and nicobar islands uh, it is mostly found since it is the uh, remain in alkaline water of sea and dries up under the hot sun it will be purified at its own and giving the very good fragrance but to ushmaina nature it is a good appetizer ampachak mitigates vata and kapha dosha uh, it is also used in the bruhad vachan tamani ras and vadavanand ras which is used in raktaj roga sannipataj shudha and all type of pataj vyadhi useful in increasing the potency and appetite of mercury 
kurma prashta this is uh, uh, the references of the kurma prashta in the rasa text are very rare and but in the latter century this kurma prashta is included in the uh, sudhavarga drugs being it is a rich in calcium kurma asti prashta is the bone of tall pines uh, since it is rich in calcium it has been included under this group under that after the death of tall pines these bones can be used as a source of calcium the kurma prashta are soaked in any of the sour liquid called pelas later it is washed dried and stored as a sudha kurma prashta prashta pras, uh, for further pharmaceutical use uh, kurma prashta basma which is a very uh, common preparation uh, 125 fg to 250 mg kurma prashta basma Uh, is used in a apasmara and it is also used for strengthening the bones in growing children lactating mothers and old age persons who require additional calcium then uh, there are a few other drugs uh, these were the uh, specially drugs which are mostly used in the ayurvedic therapeutics as a sudhavarga drugs but there are few other uh, sources uh, or the medicines or the uh, drugs which are used as a um, medicine but mostly uh, as we are seeing here the fishes or the sea mammals or the crabs they are mostly used as a food but again from this uh, uh, very various fishes or the sea mammals or the crabs uh, various type of uh, medicines are prepared and they are used for the various purposes uh as uh, as ayurveda pharmacy or pharmaceutical industry is not uh, very much aware or they known about these their products but the modern pharmaceutical industry they are having uh, number of such products and they are may have focusing on the products on the ocean and the marine pharmaceuticals or the marine industry is developing nowadays day by day Uh, here uh, one thing we must uh, discuss regarding the why shodhana is done in amla so the sudhavarga drugs their shodhan is advised in the amla varga uh, the most of the shodhana dravyas are amla or sour in nature which helps to remove the impurities from the sudhavarga dravyas which are usually alkaline in nature the amla dravyas are acidic in nature and hence removes the excessive alkaline nature of calcium compounds and thus making the drug smoother and in assimilable form another aspect is that the uh, acidity or the low ph is a most favorable environment for the calcium absorption and hence if that acidity is low the calcium compounds which we generally prescribe they are absorbed uh, uh, easily uh, this is the greatest advantage of sudhavarga dravyas over the modern calcium supplements most of the modern calcium supplements in impart constipation bloating and so many other uh, side effects on the other hand the sudhavarga dravyas are deep and pachan in nature and which prevents these complications so this is the added advantage of the uh, calcium compounds uh, which are prepared of this ayurveda drugs calcium as we were discuss uh, we are discussing in the last uh, previous class also uh, regarding the importance in the body for the human being and calcium is used for the various physiological processes like muscular movement bone culture regulation of gi secretions cardiac physiology and so many other functions and hence calcium uh, which generally counts the major source of body that is the bone and the teeth uh again let us have a uh, look at the probable mode of absorption of the calcium Asmas. Okay, how the asmas are absorbed? Uh, probable mode of absorption of the calcium compound asmas. Uh, I am trying here. I tried here to uh, probable uh, equations. According to this, uh, asmas of this drug uh, drugs are mostly carbonates of calcium. when administered with water or the suitable anupana like uh, water or honey they dissociate into oxide and hydroxide form on reaction with gastric acid 
juice the above one compounds get converted to the chloride and then elemental calcium ion which is absorbed hence they can be used as a supplement of calcium in various conditions the chloride ion nullifies the acidity hence the action of these drugs in condition like amla pitta or parinama shudha can be justified so this is the reason uh, and this way calcium uh, are absorbed with this chemical reactions now uh, here i have tried to focus on various uh, studies research studies which are conducted on these marine products being uh, because it is very important to know about the various studies which are conducted on these uh, products especially on these udhavarga drugs because in the recent years uh, modern science or the modern uh, scientists and they have raised the alarm regarding the toxic effect or the toxic nature of the ayurvedic products which includes all kind of ayurvedic products and hence i think uh, this is the befitted answer to them regarding our safety and the efficacy of our ayurvedic products as uh, i have focused here the various studies which start from as i have uh, discussed about the regarding the pre clinical and the clinical studies so here uh, number of such pre clinical studies have also been conducted uh, where acute and sub acute toxicity study and later uh, which suggests that um, their non toxic nature on their safety in nature uh, here the study is conducted uh, by anita singh et al in 2010 uh, regarding the acute toxicity study of calcium based ayurvedic basmas and pishti prepared from marine animals in which uh, the researchers have tried to uh, study the shankha basma kapardik basma mukta shukti basma and praval basma and praval pishti Uh, which show did not show any acute toxicity up to 5000 mg per kg dose in albino mice oral administration of all these drugs to albino rats at a doses of 3 and 10 times higher than the recommended dose also caused no toxicological effects that indicates that the drugs uh, all the basmas are non toxic and highly safe in rodents as uh, we have studied or we have seen in our previous slides that most of these uh, calcium preparations they are having a dose of uh, uh, from 60 mg to 250 or maximum up to 500 mg but here as the dose is given up to 5000 mg per kg dose and still they did not show any toxic effect that suggests the non toxic nature and highly safe nature of our product another study uh, here i have focused regarding another uh, uh, pharmacological activities or the studies which are conducted on the uh, various drugs which specially focus on the various aspect uh, of uh, the therapeutic efficacy or the therapeutic potential of the uh, sudha varga drugs uh, here is is anti ulcer activity which is conducted uh, and it shows that shankha basma kapardi basma mukta shukti basma pravala basma and a pishti again have prepared from the marine source animal have dose dependent anti ulcer activity means they have shown a significant effect on the ulcer another uh, study which is conducted as a anti osteoarthritic effect where uh, researchers have proved that uh, pravala basma is effective in the preparation of calcium and estrogen deficient bone loss which was induced by overectomized and concurrent calcium deficient female rat model thus it is justified by this study the use of pravala basma in osteoporosis osteoarthritis and osteomalacia another study conducted by as a, as a cytotoxic activity by the uh, sen yaqing uh, most probably from the china Uh, where the uh, researchers have proved that the new derivative of amrin that is isolated from the agni char which were prepared by the chemical transformation exhibit the cytotoxic activity against the human liver carcinoma colon adenocarcinoma lung carcinoma and human breast carcinoma cell lines again anti ulcer activity which is conducted 
by uh, end dubetal where uh, it is found that mukta basma is uh, having the gastric ulcer and uh, diclofenac induced ulcer uh, in low doses of therapeutic range and uh, again uh, this is effective uh, in the ulcer anti peptic ulcer activity another activity another uh, study conducted by the chauhan uh, et al where mukta shukti basma possesses the variable reduction in free and total acidity peptic activity and acid output in pyloric ligate rat model uh, if we look at another anti cataract activity conducted uh, on mukta especially continuum mukta has shown the significant anti cataract activity anti cataract potential was evaluated using the steroid induced cataract developing chick embryos sodium selenite induced cataract with red pops and galactose uh this was the hormonal activity which was studied and it was uh, found that uh, especially in agni jar uh, was significant uh, increase in testosterone uh, prolactin insulin cortisol thyroxin level and body weight after the agni jar administration another uh, aphrodisiac activity was uh, studied on amber grease again and uh, found that it is a positive activity on masculine sexual power on rats so these were the various uh, pharmacological activities uh, which shows the diverse uh, therapeutic potential of the marine products or the sudhavar drugs which are described in ayurveda and they are now proved by the various uh, preclinical that is the animal studies now here uh, there are few clinical studies as we well conducted uh, where um, that uh, like management of the astikshay or osteoporosis by laksha gugun and mukta shukti pishti so uh, it is found that uh, uh, the study was conducted on the 45 patients and the effect of laksha gugun and the mukta shukti pishti uh, statistically uh, found that it is highly significant in the management of osteopenia or osteoporosis that is astikshay another study conducted uh, ayurveda management of osteoarthritis a case study it was a case study and it is found that uh, the ayurveda management gives significant result in osteoarthritis patient another study uh, like clinical evaluation of ashwagandha ashwagandha churna and pravala pishti in the management of menopausal syndrome it is also stated that the combined treatment of above drugs gives the better results in both the somatic as well as psychological complaints in women with mild to moderate symptoms of menopausal syndrome So these are the uh, again a few case studies are here regarding the samudra fen i would like to share with you uh, clinical efficacy uh, 11 number study that is the clinical efficacy of samudra fen powder uh, dusting powder in uh, dusting in uteria caused by the diffuse otitis the ear discharge was completely stopped on the fifth day and the external auditory canal become dry and clean on seventh day so the such a magic results we obtained with the uh, our ayurvedic drug another case study on the uh, samudra fen churna that is the <clears throat> case study on the efficacy of samudra fen churna in the management of karnas trav again the same study is conducted and uh, results results are very much encouraging uh, here i would also like to share one uh, another aspect of this like uh, sariva shankanabhi churna at topical dusting powder for diaper dermatitis uh, look here ki we cannot think even about such type of study but here uh, puranik p uh, et al have conducted this study and uh, it is proved that it is used successfully in the diaper dermatitis for symptomatic reduction and irritability in children so these were the various uh, clinical studies uh, have conducted which not only enrich the our science but also boost the confidence among the ayurvedic physicians and uh, it is the answer to the modern scientists who are uh, unknowingly or knowingly or uh, unintentionally raise the finger against the safety and efficacy of the ayurvedic physicians uh, here are also because uh, Uh, we are uh, not only conducting the clinical or the preclinical trial but as well we are also conducting or number of such studies are there uh, which can state about the standardization of the ayurvedic formulations 
uh, here i would like to quote few formulations uh, like the physico chemical analysis of pravala basma prepared by using the pravala mool as the raw material so various um, methods are used specific or sop is that is they are prepared and the basma is uh, standardized and which is out at this up to the standard mark another study uh, um, compared to pharmaceutical standardization and oral bioavailability study on pravala pishti and pravala basma uh, i would like to share that uh, this study is conducted under me uh, uh, with my uh, pg scholar uh, currently this study is going on this is the protocol which is published in one of the scopus journal and uh, this study is going on regarding the bioavailability study and i would like to share that this year we have taken three bioavailability study of uh, pravala uh, shukti basma pravala basma pravala pishti and shankha basma so three studies are going under our department uh, regarding the bioavailability study uh, in the previously also uh, look at here this kapardik study this was also study conducted by one of my scholar pg scholar uh, the pharmaceutical standardization of kapardik basma prepared by three different varieties look here the three different varieties which were Uh, described in the uh, text like the padona nishka bhara sarda nishka bhara shrestha nishka bhara ch madhyama padona nishka bhara ch kanishta parikirtita means three different varieties of kapar the were taken their basma were prepared and they were analytically standardized so uh, these were the basic studies are also conducted in the various field various colleges various institutes and they not only uh, enriching our knowledge or enriching our science but also uh, making the evidences regarding the safety and efficacy of our ayurvedic products so these studies are very much important as we have seen these are the very few studies which are related to the only marine products if uh, uh, marine products but if we go with the other uh, uh, drugs Uh, there are n number of such studies are available and that is really very very encouraging so after uh, this i will conclude thus the traditional indian system of medicine has a rich history of utilization of marine drugs there is a complex pharmaceutical processing of these drugs which convert them to more biocompatible basma form and hence cause direct enhancement in their bioavailability the main chemical constituent of these drugs are calcium carbonate but they also contain trace amount of other minerals which results in the difference of therapeutic efficacy the ethnopharmacological and the traditional role of these marine drugs in the treatment of hyperacidity gastric reflux disease dyspepsia sexual incompetency osteoporosis is supported by the modern pharmacological findings but still there are much work is they are awaited and i hope the budding researchers will fulfill this gap and they will do they will uh, continue the legacy of ayurveda for the betterment of mankind i hope with these words uh, i am thankful to the organizer especially pavan ji sharma sir for giving me this opportunity to share my thoughts regarding this uh, sudha varga drugs or the drugs which are obtained from the ocean uh the last met uh, message uh, i would like to share that save ocean save medicine thank you thank you sir thank you bharat ji thank you very comprehensive informative and scientific presentation excellent excellent i would like to welcome professor madan thangvelu and dr harish verma ji <coughs> madan thangvelu sir from uk and dr harish verma ji from uh, canada i would like to welcome madan sir for his moderation dr kamini dhiman ji namaskar welcome namaskar welcome namaskar 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 ji namaskar ji, namaskar ji. Namaskar ji. kindly rahiyega jisse aakhri mein hum log sab charcha kar sake aaj ka topic bhi bada acha hai pavan ji pranam ji pranam sir pranam sir pranam agniyotri ji namaskar pranam ji pranam madan sir इनके बाद डॉक्टर आर एस हिरेमठ का है लेकिन स्टेज इज योर्स नाउ थैंक यू पवन जी आप 
Bharatji, thank you for your very, very comprehensive presentation. Thank you, sir. Cuttlefish skeleton ke baare mein jo bata hai aur uske shodhan, shodhan ke baare, all very, very important. Hamaari choti si interaction chalta rata hai ji, Keral mein wo uh, aushadi waalong ke saath. Yes, yes. To vahaan pe ek to sawaal nikal aati hai ji. Ek to hai hamaari um, pravala basma ke baare mein. Pravala. Pravala basma. Yes. Wo, so, or Dusri, some discussions about um, uh, Shankabashma. Yeah. Kauri ki upar, Kauri jo uti hai. Kapardika. So the question always asked is, is ki source kaha Hindustan mein, Hindustan ki sagaro mein, kaha kaha se nikala thi ji. This is specially for Kauri ki upar. Or Dusri Savali Heki, when our waters are polluted, yeah. is, there some, if, is there some quality control? Kauri Jo Basma Jo Bantia, Usme, how are we quality controlling these things? Or Tisri Chis Jiapki, last comment Jo Apnevata, save the oceans. This is very important. Yoki, the European Union ki, they have something called framework programs. Har saal unke pura research development, research ke upar, they have a big six year program. And this year, there is a isbar jo hua, framework program jo chal ra. It's called Horizon Europe. Or there are five missions in Horizon Europe. Or usme ek mission hai oceans. Yes. So there is some there is some interest there. So when I put all these questions together, Mary Taraf say so no, no, no. is there some opportunity for us to interact with the nations of the European Union? Jaape, we might still find Kauri, Hosakta Greece Kisat, Greece Walong Kisat. So this is these are the thoughts running to, through my mind. Ki, yes. Can we can we do something that um, gives? Uh, today I office. salute sir. Today I salute Dr. Bharat Ratiji because he is with us after demise of one relative also. Oh. He has to go there. So, so I salute him. Really salute his question. I Thank salute you. him. We won't hold you long, ji, but we. We, these are open questions. We don't we need an immediate answer. Yes, sir. But we, we leave these questions with you. If yes. you want to address it, please do share a few thoughts. But otherwise, we can always come back and discuss this further. Dr. Madanji, Namaskar. Dr. Bharatji, I have listened to you and you mentioned Majority sea products, Praval, Mukta, Shukti, Mukta, Shukti, or Mukta, and uh, Kapardika, all they contain, they are the calcium uh, preparations. Yes. So, if we look the allopathic side, we have research that calcium is absorbed in the presence of vitamin D. Or vitamin D is required for the absorption of calcium. So, what do we do with Ayurvedic products? Ki efficacy badhane ke liye, vitamin D include kar sakte hai isme? Sir, if you don't mind, sir, if you don't mind, we can conduct question answer session every time in the last. Okay, sir. Hello, if you don't Thank mind. You. It will be inhuman to hold it. At present, it will be inhuman to hold him, sir. Please yes. leave him. Yes, sir. Madam, sir. You are Pamanji, so, Pamanji, please let us proceed because I understand uh, Sorry about it, sir. circumstances, today's. So, I just I just want to alert that we can have some interaction in Europe. Jarur, jarur, sir. Jarur. Bas. I will leave it there, Pamanji. Thank I you, thank we... you, thank you, sir. So now I would like to 
request Dr. R. S. Hiremat. He is also renowned dignitary of Ayurveda, very young and uh, energetic. So, Dr. Hiremat Ji. Yes, sir. Is professor and sir. head, Rashtra and Vaisaji Kalpana, PG Department, KLE University, Sri BM Ayurveda College, Belagavi. Welcome, welcome. Uh, okay, sir. With, sir, with your due permission, may I leave? Yes, yes, sure, sure, sure. Sorry, sorry to hold you, sir. Thank you, sir. Salute thank to you. your passion. Salute to your passion. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Baraji, thank you for being with us. We look thank forward you, to continuing our discussion. Thank you, uh, Bharat Rati, sir. Thank you. Hi, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, okay, I have sir, some okay. emergency, sir. I have, I, I have to <laughs> okay, leave. Sir. Okay, no problem, sir. Okay, sir. I, another time we will meet, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sure, sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes. Welcome, Dr. Hiramatji. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Sir, please uh, give me permission to share, sir. Yes, you can. Hiramachi, are you able to share your screen? Yes, sir. I will go through. Mm -hmm. Is there any problem, doctor? Sir, just a minute, sir. Okay, no problem. We are waiting. In the meanwhile, I just want to say welcome to Kamini Ji. Kamini Ji, sir, namaskar. slide is visible, sir. Nahi Ji, I am not yet. And we want to welcome all the new people at the platform. I can see a lot of new people at the platform. Welcome all to our, uh, our session today. Apologies for this delay from Hiramachi.
Kindly but, share your problem with us. Hope we can communicate you some exactly. solution. Yes. Sir, uh, the my uh, I am connecting from the mobile. Looks like sir. you. Did you, Hiramachi? Do you want to send the presentation to Pavanji or JSG, and then we can? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will send it, sir. I will send it. That might be. If you are having difficulty, that might be an easy way to do this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, I sent uh, my presentation to Pawan sir. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for sharing it with Pawanji. Sir, you can ask uh, the some questions what you have been asked for the uh, Bharatrati, sir, regarding uh, the absorption point of view. Yes, great, I think. Great, great, nice, very nice. Yes, sir. Yeah, sir. Think, the, while Pavanji, while before, before that, I would like to inform Dr. J. P. Singh Ji yesterday raised about Sodan and Marana. Yes, so sir. from industry, we are organizing one metallic processing in industry, and Davar Sarandi head, Dr. Rajiv Rai, and uh, Uma and uh, Dhut Papeshwar and Multani. Four R&D heads of industry will communicate the problem or strength of uh, the pro modern processing. And that will be also brainstorming session, just for information. Ji, Bharat Ji, uh, uh, Sir, Hiramaji, Ji, please. Hirema Ji. Hirema question tha, Harish Ji ka madan Hari, uh, Harish Ji, in Toronto, he, uh, his question is, ki calcium in modern physiology terms, calcium absorption is controlled by some vitamin D and vitamin D regulated genes. Agar Ayurved ki, whatever we are using calcium, wherever we are using calcium, if we administer vitamin D, will it improve the efficiency? And the, I think the background information of this question is also that there is a huge amount of vitamin D deficiency even in India in both males, females, it is a almost a kind of a, a endemic proportion, pandemic proportion there that um, we are short in vitamin D. We have a vitamin D deficiency, even though the, uh, the given wisdom is that wherever there is bright sunshine, we will not have shortage of vitamin D. So this is, I think, I think this is Harish Ji's question. Sir, basically, I can say the whenever the calcium carbonate is abundantly available in the earth crust, sir, even though the ancestors, since from uh, the antiquity, even though when we go through uh, referring various uh, the Sanhitas, even Charaka Sanhita, Shushuta Sanhita, as well as so many Rasa texts, they have been included the instead of mineral origin of the calcium carbonate, they have been included animal origin mm -hmm. calcium carbonate. So ultimately, the inorganic calcium, what we are the neglected or the not being included, and they have been given preference to the organic calcium, sir. This mm -hmm. is first point. As far as the modern and Ayurveda is concerned, sir. And uh, the second point is, and whatever the processing techniques we are following, sir, for the Shodhana as well as for the Marana. Mm. So in that, so the chemical structure is going to be changed, sir. Mm. So in the modern medicine, even though they are going to give the calcium and it is in the elemental calcium, sir. Mm -hmm. But what we are giving, so that is in the form of inorganic, sir. Mm -hmm. And one more thing is that the Anupana, that is adjuvant or a vehicle, what we are going to tell. So that is going to have a major role and in the absorption of the, the particular calcium in the body, sir. Whenever mm -hmm. it has been given orally, ultimately that is going to be absorbed in the cellular level and the rate of bioavailability is more, sir. Mm -hmm. So 
with this particular aspect we can say that and uh, whatever the vitamin d and other things so ultimately even uh, there are so many articles uh, when i gone through regarding the calcium absorption in the duodenum calcium is not supposed to be absorbed sir. Mm -hmm. and ultimately when the duodenum the modern what they are doing at present so whenever they go for to give the calcium nasal spray they are giving now they are uh, giving nasal spray for the calcium absorption because uh, through the nasal it is going to absorb and uh, directly going to be added into the the cellular or uh, the systemic circulation in this way they are doing but uh, in ayurveda whatever the calcium we are giving ultimately the more than 60 percentage of the calcium uh, the being uh, the absorbed by processing shodhana and marana and whatever the shodhana dravyas we are using as well as marana dravyas or the bhavana dravyas we are using the structure is going to be changed sir so that is going to be the major reason to absorb in the cellular level and we can get more bioavailability so the question is i think harishi's question is do we will we benefit if we also take into account the vitamin d status of the individual ayurved method we don't account we don't as far as i know there is no uh, uh, recognition or no uh, the point about vitamin d is never taken in ayurveda can we get some additional benefit if we take that modern biology thinking also into consideration sir with respect to the the principles of the the ayurvedic formulations whatever the combination we go for to made or mix with the, the for the preparation point of view ultimately they must have the vitamin d also sir <laughs> and whenever we are giving the vitamin d in addition to the the formulation along with the, the various calcium carbonate uh, the substances what we are going to add and uh, that is going to be the the match uh, the particular formulation or uh, going to sustain that and it is a uh, the somewhat according to modern we can go for additional the vitamin d but not for ayurvedic formulation in my view sir okay thank you i think we i think i understand your point uh, hiramachi could you tell a little more about how you are understanding two aspects one is the maran shodhan aspect that you mentioned number one number two the aspect about the uh, uh, anupan and how it might increase bioavailability what is how do you see this problem keeping in mind there are many people who are thinking about this maran shodhan is not understood at all in modern modern uh, pharmacology that concept is not there but it is a very important concept number two the modern biologists are always thinking again in terms of the perspective is different you know they don't think about this anupan concept is not not understood anupan sahapan and all these things are not understood in in modern pharmacology so while well, ayurveda no, ayurveda insists that we respect these things you know so how do you on both those things do you have something you can share with our audience sir in general regarding the shodhana point of view yeah so it is not uh, the the we are using the term as purification for the shodhan so the lot of uh, the meaning under the board heading of uh, the shodhana term is. and uh, the the heterogeneous the substances are going to be the homogeneous sir the because of due to shodhana and even uh, the complex materials are going to be simpler and inorganic things are going to be converted into an organic sir and uh, the non the suitable form of a drug going to be the the suitable one so these are the significance of shodhana generally we go for to say and when coming to the individual sir and here all these calcium carbonates what we are using either from the marine or other uh, the calcium whatever we are using in the field of prashastra as well as in the baisaja kalpana for various preparations and whatever the the medias we are going to select for the shodhana point of view and those medias they are going to make the acid balance acid base balance neutralization and the the ph required for human absorption and it is going to be converted sir whatever the the medias we are going to use the process 
or the methodology we are going to follow ultimately they are going to they take this opportunity and they go for to convert the material into a suitable form that is one thing sir and regarding the marana as such regarding the marana as such various bhavanas for example you can take even uh, the kumari the most of the time kumari has been used and uh, for the bhavana in the the various marine uh, or the ocean products or otherwise calcium uh, the carbonate products and ultimately and the coating so the we are going to say because of due to the bhavana the coating and uh, wherever the anupana as well as bhavana dravya going to be helpful to reach the target cell the exact the the kinetic activity of that particular it is uh, still unknown because of uh, in a single formulation uh, the uh, sorry the compound formulation wide range of uh, the phytoconstituents are there and all those phytoconstituents are going to be helpful not only for the even single we are uh, the calcium carbonate for example sanka basma pravala basma we are indicating at that time the suitable anupana and suitable patya is also very much helpful in this regard sir and uh, in their aspect say if they are not supposed to understand basically they should understand the ayurvedic principles and uh, the relation between mahabhuta and the, the gunas and rasa mahabhuta with the doshas mahabhuta with the the, uh, the dhatus and then only it is possible to understand sir so uh, the it is related with uh, the all these things then only we can possible to understand the basic concepts and in their particular uh, way if they are going to think it is not possible to understand clearly sir it thank is uh, the my opinion sir hiramaji thank you for clarifying many points here now okay sir. while pavan ji is still trying to fix a sub question if i may ask one or two other questions there is okay, a need uh, harish ji's question and our discussions that are going on in all of these discussions we are saying that there is a lot of valuable insights in ayurvedic siddha and unani knowledge you know there are many many insights and yes. the way the way you have described panjabhutik siddhant and tridosh siddhant and all these things give a new perspective to understanding human biology which is missing in contemporary pharmacology so there is some richness there and that yes, richness if we can bring that richness into our dialogue the ongoing modern medicine perspectives then we can benefit both sides you know we can they, we they, we will earn the ayurvedic the ayu community can earn some uh, the, for want of a better word some kind of appreciation from the other side we need their help a little bit because they have the technology for assessing many things and in turn we can have one integrated approach now a lot of people get frightened when we say integrated approach they are saying all our tatvas and shastras will all be lost if we go integrated approach if we go in the integrated direction then we lose everything how to make a dialogue between uh, uh, between the modern medicine people and uh, uh, our uh, uh, ayurveda unani siddha people and i ask this question because in belgavi you are very lucky that you have modern medicine institution also connected with your uh, your uh, network is that a place where we can bring this we had uh, dr avdesh ji earlier from chandigarh who is also connecting with some big institutions in punjab in chandigarh how can we make this dialogue a little more vibrant and this is also a question for uh, uh, kamini ji from all india institute ayurveda in delhi she is we are lucky to have kamini ji here with us today do you have some thoughts about the re- many reasons many other reasons our students will yes, feel sir, yes, much sir. more yes, confident sir. in so, the future how much i know yes sir the how much i know i can share with you sir because you are the seniors in the the field and uh, the one more thing is that how we are interested to learn modern medicine in the same way they are going to interest take interest to learn ayurveda sir basically so this is the first thing because in the middle if they wanted to understand the things it is, is not no possible to understand yes. this is the one thing sir second thing what i can say 
so whenever they go for to think in terms of uh, the pharmacological point of view that is dynamic and kinetic in terms of modern the physiological aspect it is not possible to understand sir so our the concepts are entirely different principles are entirely different because we are using the heavy metals the heavy metals we are using successfully to make various formulations sir but uh, they are not accepting sir so many research works which have been carried out and uh, regarding uh, animal experimentation and uh, since antiquity the we are preparing and using and they are in practice but we are not supposed to have any adrs whatever the pharmacovigilance adr so many things we are going to say but uh, no one has been complained and successfully many of the ayurvedic physicians successfully practicing the rasaushadis without any this one but uh, the when we go for to discuss with the modern the science ultimately the contemporary science they are not going to accept even though the true things are there in front of them so this is the drawback and they are uh, going to look in the different manner and uh, ultimately this is going to be the major problem initially what we are facing whenever we are going to stand in front of the the modern people sir thank you hirana ji please keep this thought in your mind because i want to draw agnihotri ji uh, our former professor of swasthavrit in uttarakhand uh, ayurveda university but before i bring uh, agnihotri ji into our discussion maybe dr jp singh will also have some thoughts i just want to show one i'm going to share my screen with one paper and this is to do with calcium carbonate this is to do with cancer this is to do with nanoparticles and yes sir yeah i will just put this for just one minute on the screen and then i will request agnihotri ji just to share come back and connect with your with your comment this the paper i want to present is is this one and it's a very very exciting paper because it touches on all the points that we are discussing today you see so this is a very recent paper from 2019 it says calcium carbonate nanoparticles can activate the epithelial mesenchymal transition in an experimental gastric cancer model okay now many of the basmas that you are using i think in the samhitas it already talks about use in some of these uh, conditions and it talks about inflammation carcinogenesis and how calcium carbonate can affect this process so modern biology is already looking at this but they don't know anything about our different basma types they don't know that we have a language that is also very rich in describing these things and that we are also interested in cancer and they are also interested in cancer and that we can actually come together to form a very very good collaborative research work you know so sometimes i feel the difficulty is because we don't know the contemporary literature a little bit sometimes i feel it is because we are not reaching out to people in I, I, just as just as uh, just as you came on i was saying that the european union has cancer missions and bharat ji in his concluding comment he made talked about save the oceans to save our medicines and it is all about recognizing what is going in, on in different places what is the contemporary literature where is it sitting where we can make some interaction so that we can develop so i i will send the link of this in the chat box for those who want to study this paper and it's a very very it's a very valuable paper that gives information this is from russia and russia as you well know are part of the brics nations it will be very easy under the brics umbrella to develop research programs with with uh, russia um, so i will put the chat this reference in the chat box but i want to invite um, agnio 3g just to share his thoughts in the meanwhile i'll copy this reference to our chat box agnio 3g namaskar ji pranam ji while pavan ji is putting our presentation namaskar. thank you sir namaskar, uh, namaskar i would like to um, uh, comment upon the uh, uh, first part of your query that is uh, why the integration between uh, allopathy and modern medicine is not happening uh, okay. many uh, cordially so that is taken in my mind that uh, wherever the modern medicine persons old or new 
are of the attitude that they want to learn more and they are curious that what is there in ayurved without any ego they come and there happens a very good harmony uh, for getting the knowledge exchanged exchange where the modern western persons are egoistic that i know all why should i go for ayurvedic person i don't need then it is always a an a short of stagnation and uh, we we fail to communicate as far as our bhu is concerned we are fortunate enough to have a very good harmony cordiality and understanding in both the medicine uh, discipline both the uh, pathi because of the uh, one uh, both the pathis are under one umbrella that is institute of medical sciences the faculty of modern medicine and faculty of ayurved i am still remembering that my work on stechnos potatorum uh, with its uh, colony clearing capacity which we uh, got from microbiology department of uh, institute of medical sciences and when i saw uh, this thing is there under microscope and i uh, requested that professor pc sen sir please see it so when he saw that is that is there out of the alcoholic decoction and water decoction the colony clearing capacity of e coli happened out of the this decoction of stegnos potatorum or normally bees so uh, they appreciate like an engineer and they accepted it. so if the modern medicine per, uh, persons are really eager that how this gokshraj gugulu works over the uh, say uh, this uh, uti or burning sensation uh, it's very good in case of nasal epistaxis if modern medicine person apply botropax injection or any vitamin k preparation and as per our text durva sarvas कार्बोनेटन और i could get only one point that uh, uh, to make uh, heterogeneous effect to homogeneous effect uh, the sea source calcium uh, articles are sent for the shodhana karm as, as is being uh, projected by iraman ji so this is yeah. this is i think uh, at this moment this is a thank, point thank. which i can share yeah. thank you अग्निवश जी थैंक यू थैंक यू अग्निवश जी आपने एक रस के बारे में बताया जो नस्य के please could you put durva durva soras dubhas dubhas jo which is this is just Achha. running with the it has got a very good thing isko crush karke iska durva soras nikalte hain it has got a wonderful uh, effect over the uh, hemostasis acha ji just check the bleeding and it is it's a decoct it's a juice is very chal कोलीग uh shetty ji is principal i think soha shetty sir soha shetty ji is principal here in this college yes sir former principal is dr b s pasa sir this is such a beautiful campus i hope you will tell us a little more about what happens in this campus sir we are having uh, this is uh, the oldest uh, the ayurvedic college in uh, the karnataka sir oldest college in yes sir it is being donated by the one police inspector his entire the earning whatever after the retirement he has been uh, the because of uh, the he is uh, the uh, wife is suffering from one disease and it is not uh, curable by the modern doctors ultimately he has been consulted ayurvedic uh, physician and even physician is not also treated but uh, what he has been told so she is going to die on that particular day so based on the nadi pariksha 
so ultimately he has been uh, the impressed and uh, he has been donated the entire his lifetime whatever he has been they had after the retirement and then he has been established this particular and uh, in the year uh, the 92 93 it has been taken by the kle society now it is running under kle university so kle the kaher under the name of kaher that is uh, the deemed university and uh, the nine constituent units are there and uh, our the sri bm kankarmadi ayurvedic college is also one of the the constituent unit of uh, the kaher we are having uh, the nac a plus the uh, the accreditation by nac even uh, the nabh accreditation sir this is the only this is the first ist institution in india having both nac and nabh accredited ayurvedic college in india sir congrats from all of us and thank you so much for this brief introduction i have only one question about the timeline i will ask that after your presentation sir welcome to the platform okay. Thank you for joining us today. Apologies for the delay with the presentation, but there it is. I think Pavanji will advance the slides as you as you wish him to advance. Thank you. Yes, sir. Can I start now, sir? Please, please. Very much. We are waiting your message. Thank you. Okay, sir. So, the respected uh, the dignitaries and the organizers of this particular uh, the webinar. and when i am going to give the introduction before that i wanted to tell regarding bharat rati sir there is uh, nothing has been left for me to tell about uh, the various aspects uh, which have been used uh, uh, in the field of uh, the medicines in uh, the ocean but even though the various ayurvedic physicians when we go for the treasure of remedies so regarding the ayurveda preparations which have been used and established in various aspects in the management of various elements and when we consider the ocean and it is one of the richest natural sources of minerals especially the calcium and even phosphorus and iron and also some other the elements we can go for to see in the ocean and when we go through the the marine organisms so definitely they have been contributed a lot their bioactive products are having profound applications in pharmaceuticals and the cosmeticals as so next sir. next slide please and next sir, regarding the the marine resources nowadays widely studied so because of uh, the various reasons what we are going to see hiramachi could uh, be we apologies there is some background noise i think hema ji hema shete is okay sir okay, microphone sir. No is problem. on hema ji thank you for uh, thank you for you are mute. also co host sir we can mute okay thank you bhavan ji thank you thank i'm you. sorry Apolo sir actually my kid is uh, with me so it is just okay, uh, thank really you. sorry thank you thank you hema ji thank you welcome thank you for joining us today thank you thank you hema ji sorry about the disturbance but please continue compared to the other aspects so the three type of uh, the resource, the uh, raw materials we are using in the field out of which so the they as far as calcium carbonate is concerned as a major ingredient and ocean covers more than 70% of the world surface so ultimately the whatever the herbal products or animal originates what we are using as a raw material for the preparation of various preparations so the when we concentrate towards the the ocean because it is going to cover the 70 percentage of the world surface so this is one of the reason the nowadays the many of the researches are going on based on the the ocean and uh, with respect to the therapeutical the various uh, the ingredients which are available and then uh, regarding the marine the natural products started only 50 years ago sir if we compared with the modern and in the modern only we are going to get a 50 years history regarding the oceanology or the ocean related the research which have been carried out and then regarding the indian system of medicine when we go through the since antiquity successfully we are using uh, the various the marine the originates like uh, the shanka pravala muktika shukti 
and even Kapardika and Samudrapena and Shambhuka. So these are going to be the just as an example I am quoting here. Next slides, please. So this is about uh, the conch shell. Already Bharat Rati sir has been, uh, he told uh, the entire aspect, but uh, the, when I seen uh, the presentation of uh, Dr. Bharat Rati sir, so it has been uh, concise and uh, giving in front of you, putting in front of you. And it is basically the gastropod and mollusca. They based on the, the gastro. The gastro, it is ultimately going to be helpful in the management of the gastric disorders. So based on that, we can uh, they tell that. So ultimately, that is going to be much more helpful and belongs to the mollusca family, commonly found in Indian Ocean coast. And then uh, the coastal regions, widely used in therapeutics. And uh, with a dose of uh, the 250 to 500 milligrams, Anupana, Nimbu, Sorosa, and Tripala Kwata. One more thing I wanted to tell in this particular, Nimbu Sorosa, preferably why they have been used, uh, the Nimbu Sorosa, and the Shanka, it is uh, the alkaline in nature, and when it has been treated with the, the acidic the uh, drugs, ultimately the neutralization is going to be taken place, and easily it is uh, going to be absorbed through the, the cellular liver and possible to the administer through the, the oral. And then uh, the Tripala Kwata. Everyone knows regarding the, uh, the Tripala Kwata and its uh, the property, whatever the, all the, the three myrobalans which are being uh, the included in the Tripala, all are having the antioxidant property. So based on antioxidant property and acidic in nature. So this is also acidic in nature. So usually these are being treated with the, the acids, even in the Anupana, in addition to the Shodhana and Marana, whatever the medias we are going to use. And therapeutically, if you go for the Ajena, Agnimandya, Grani, most of them related with the, the gastric disorders. Formulation as such, Shankadravaka, Bhaskara Rasa, and even uh, the Mahashankavati, Shankachuna and Shankabasma. So we are commonly going to see the various Ayurvedic physicians are going to the practice with these formulations, established formulations. And uh, regarding the calcium composition, chemical composition, if you go for, the carbonate is there, calcium, iron, magnesium, sulfate, phosphate, and chloride. Calcium is of uh, 54 to 90%, depending upon the different seashores, what we are going to get the, the conch shell. So the calcium carbonate in this particular percentage, and whenever it has been taken for processing, and it is going to be much more helpful because uh, so many, the, the body requires so many the uh, elements for the maintain the positive health. Ultimately, this is going to be regarding Shanka. Next, sir. So the Kapardika Kauri is one question I have, the, uh, the uh, uh, participant has been asked uh, the I think uh, regarding organizers only regarding this particular yes sir it is available in the the indian ocean even uh, the indian ocean and uh, then uh, the when we go through the classical reference like charak sanita shushu sanita the wide range of uh, the references we are going to get it and even uh, the used uh, for uh, the various uh, the therapeutic applications and even in uh, the rasa text so we are going to see, and it is being considered as one of the rasa dravya in sadharana rasa. And those has been two to four rati, formulation Agni Kumara rasa, Kapardika rasa, Grani Kapata rasa, and Pravala Panchamruta rasa. And in this, the calcium, the chemical composition, carbonate of calcium, magnesium, phosphate, manganese, and sodium chloride, calcium 91%. Next. <coughs> So this is a pravala and uh, it is uh, the calcareous, the skeleton of a small marine organism belongs to the corallium, the rudum, and widely indicated in the form of uh, the basma. And pravala pisti is also being used. In addition to that, pravala basma is also being used. Pravala basma is of uh, the usnavirya pradhana, pravala pisti sitavirya pradhana. So based on that, we can use the various uh, the management of uh, the um, small, the chronic elements also. Dose of this particular is of uh, the 250 milligrams. 
Anupana Thandulodaka specially we are giving. And in the Thandulodaka, Thandulodaka we are having the star needs. So when we are going to add it with the starch, and ultimately it's going to neutralize and going to be helpful for the, the, the cellular absorption. And uh, the Madhu is uh, one of the another, uh, the Anupana being used whenever it is being used, the Pisti or the, uh, sorry, the Basma is being used for the management of respiratory disorders. Madhu is being one of the Anupana and even Ikshurasa, any of the, the hepato, the biliary disorders. And in such condition, if we are using the Pravala Basma, Ikshurasa is going to be given as an Anupana. And uh, based on the Ikshu Rasa, we are preparing the Jagari. Ultimately, Jagari is also being used the one of the, the treatment in the treatment modality of the Apologies, we have, we seem to have lost Dr. Hiramat. I hope it's a, I hope it's only a temporary problem to be resolved quickly. We have lost Hiramat Ji, Pavan Ji, Namaskar. We are appreciating greatly Hiramat Ji's excellent slides. JP Singh Ji, Namaskar Ji. कट गया रहते हैं जी पता नहीं हिरामत जी का कनेक्शन कट गया इतनी बढ़िया स्लाइड्स बना रखी कुछ विटामिन मिस हो गया लगता है there is something missing here दोमा जी नमस्कार वाइल दोमा जी नमस्कार वाइल I think while um, Hiramatji returns, we are happy to take some questions, either from Hemaji, Domaji, or uh, whoever else wants might. If you have any questions, please do raise this. Murinalji, Namaskar. Namaskar, sir. Namaskar. Rinaldi, how are you? So fine. Very well. Very happy that you have joined us today. You have, you have joined us because you have some interest in today's topic. Could you, do you want to share a few words? Yes, I actually I mean, sir. Core heart, uh, what we can say, it is very favorite to mine, and it is. I have interest in that, sir, Rashtra, sir. and mm -hmm. sir, that uh, sir had explained very uh, well in that. And one thing I would uh, like to add is just like we are talking about the minerals or the ocean uh, treasure, 
plants which are available from seas they are also having their uh, own researches for uh, sir uh, medicinal purposes of course sea weeds and sea grasses yes there is uh, munalji there is one important plant isko uh, kehte hai ki uh, one of the sea one of the sea weeds is used uh, very very uh, used as a source of iodine and some micronutrients also um, kelp is the name kelp is used very very uh, extensively here yes I thank you munalji i think they are going on sir uh, continuously going on in coastal areas uh, of india also yes. and uh, ha and they are trying to add this uh, uh, treasure into the pharmacopia Yes. Now I wish again the same comment I make always is that I wish more young people will come into our discussions. More young people will uh, uh, start to show interest in all these amazing areas that Pavanji brings to our attention each day. And anything sure, connected. Sure, sure. anything connected with the ocean is of very great importance to uh, nations of the world who have a coastline and also for people who don't have access to a coastline recently sir i have uh, attended on cme in uh, sdm udupi so they keep one session on a whole day session for uh, for the generally medicines that are available from ocean or ocean. uh, oceanic medicine is may can be included for our yes, yes which can be used in our uh, uh, pharmacopia is yeah. is that correct? which can used in our pharmacopia or we can use as an alternate source to our some uh, extinted uh, plants or extinted uh, herbs now you you know Munalji, I have always been curious, what could be the difference between different sources of calcium? So we have cowry, we have shank, and there the ancient texts use them differently in preparations. And I've yes, always sir, wondered, yeah. I've always wondered how the ancient people, how our um, uh, ancient uh, uh, vaidyas how they understood this thing and what could be the basis for this uh, uh, these differences i don't know if you can see my if you are able yes, to see my uh, yeah. Ranaji, if you are able to see my screen i have put one uh, i have put i will put this in a, in the chat box also yes, and it yeah, is about sir, I... it's titled secrets in the shell and if you look secrets here if you look at here is how they have understood the arrangement of calcium that means at the very fine yes, level at the, at the level of atoms and organization of lattices etc how calcium is arranged in these different types of shells i just quickly i will put this in the chat box you can collect it from the chat box uh but yes, sir. Sure, sir. you can see how sir, these how, you can see how they have understood differences between i've always wondered what is the difference between kauri and shank if you make a uh, if you make a basma from these two why would it be different you know and there is a, there is a, when you look at the arrangement of some of these fine atoms how the the, the shell is organized then we can see how they can have variable architectures molecular architectures and how they yes. can so when uh, we go through an uh, high end uh, microscopic observation for this shells or conch uh, or kapardika or any uh, kind of this uh, calcium uh, uh, sources 
their microscopic uh, observation will be very much different their cellular level or their cells or their arrangements or their molecules they will appear different and uh, our acharyas in ancient time they differentiate this all the th all these things on the basis of their properties so maybe they have used that or they have uh, made some permutation combinations or they have seen their effects on different uh, systems of our body so according to their that they have uh, differentiated uh, each and every principle according to the mahabhutas present in that whatever mahabhutas are there then according to uh, their mode of action on dosh dhatus and malas and after that they have put ki that uh, kapardika we can use kapardika in abdominal pain on uh, certain diseases or we can use uh, uh, this uh, shukti shukti means uh, that uh, conch shell or shankha uh, in different different diseases so their opinion was about Uh, from the, the point of view mahabhutas and if we see now according to the modern parameters the modern parameters will show that similar things like uh, cellular things uh, like molecular things they will appear very differently that we see that uh, uh, one phrase is there yeah yad brahmande tat pinde जो ब्रह्मांड में वही पिंड में जो पिंड में वो ब्रह्मांड में दिखता है उसी टाइप का कुछ उन्होंने वही करके उसी हिसाब से उन्होंने फिर हर एक शुभ जी लगता आपका आवाज कट गया आई जस्ट वी सी सम देर आर सम न्यू पीपल हु हैव जॉइंड आवर प्लेटफॉर्म टुडे एंड आई वांट टू आई वुड लाइक टू इनवाइट मंजूषा जी फ्रॉम इंडिया मंजूषा जी मंजूषा जी नमस्कार मंजूषा जी नमस्कार मनासी इज हियर अदिति शिंदे इज हियर और आनंद प्रकाश मंजूषा जी हाउ आर यू वेरी हैप्पी टू हैव यू वेरी हैप्पी टू बहुत बढ़िया वेलकम वेलकम आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम आफ्टर वेरी हैप्पी टू हैव यू ऑन द प्लेटफॉर्म विद अस आई होप यू विल join us to give us a presentation on the work going on in uh, that you are doing with all your students and colleagues in your department in uh, sarta vihar sure sir sure we uh, manjusha ji and i we have been discussing about uh, age uh, macular degeneration manjusha ji and that point is still a very important point that is that many people are asking ayurved mein kya hai macular degeneration ke liye or diabetic retinopathy ke liye you have written so many things you yes. are publishing papers research so i hope you will when pavan ji will invite you to join us at an appropriate day uh, to present on the work from all india institute ayurveda on uh, from your department and also work going on in jamnagar because you i know you have spent many years in jamnagar uh, and manjusha ji we also would like your help to connect with bhu and uh, departments in bhu to bring them okay. along with yourself on one of the days that pavan ji will uh, identify uh, where we can have a a very important discussion on ayurveda for eye health very very important so that uh, we can bring this message simple procedures like um, uh, simple tarpana for instance you know that you are using routinely people don't even know about it here that you have um, yeah. netra tarpana and different dravyas that are used and how they can help how they are helping these are simple things you are doing every day but people here don't know that you have so many so many wonderful procedures for uh, managing eye problems yeah definitely sir we we'll, uh, will make it out and we need we need your guidance to identify all the other netra chikitsa people uh, people in uh, sridharyam for instance you know in kerala i hope you can connect i'm sure you are in touch with people in sridharyam the specialist 
uh, hospital in uh, for Netra Chikitsa. I hope you can bring all these people together, you know, and we need your guidance and your leadership to take this forward. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us. I would like to get some comments from... Hamare Manjusha ji, hamare saath aaj J.P. Singh ji, shayad Amritsar se, J.P. Singh ji, namaskar ji. Namaskar sir, namaskar ji. Bohut, we are very happy you have joined us today. Dr. Sahib, wo uske baare mein thoda bata na ji, ki aapke man mein kya hai, shodhan maran ke upar thoda sa, ki logon ki, there is a difficulty, ki log kehte hai ki modern, जो फार्मास्यूटिकल कंपनी वाले या कंपनी वाले जो बनाते हैं उसमें फर्क है जी काफी दैट यू आर टेकिंग टू मेनी शॉर्टकट्स सीधा सीधा अगर बताएं तो आप लोग जो करते हो इट इज वेरी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम व्हाट द समिता रेकमेंड इसके ऊपर थोड़ा बताना जी हमारी आई विल जस्ट सर 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 ये कभी ओपनली नहीं बताया जा सकता क्योंकि ये ड्रग कंट्रोल एक्ट में है और यदि कोई आदमी उससे डिफर करता है तो उसका मामला गड़बड़ हो जाएगा अच्छा फिर तो छोड़ दीजिए सिंह जी बोलेंगे सिंह क्योंकि मैंने यही प्रश्न अभी तीनों स्पीकर से 20 तारीख के लिए किया अच्छा सब मुझको आश्चर्य से पूछे कि शर्मा जी क्या ये पॉसिबल है <laughs> फिर भी बुलाया मैंने ये उस दिन और क्लैरिफाई होगा लेकिन ट्रेड सीक्रेट है सर सिंह साहब एक एक चीज आपसे पूछे जी हमारी पारद के ऊपर पता नहीं तीन चार पांच छह चर्चा लंबी सी चर्ची सो वी हैड वेरी एक्सटेंसिव डिस्कशन अब उसमें एक चीज जो कटोश जी ने जो बताया आई वॉन्ट टू जस्ट प्रेस ऑन दिस एक चीज जी एक पॉइंट इसमें मरकरी कि हिंदुस्तान 70 परसेंट ऑफ आवर एनर्जी इज कमिंग फ्रॉम यूज ऑफ कोल और कोल वेन यू बर्न कोल देर इज अट ऑफ मरकुरी दैट इज रिलीज एंड वी कैन हार्वेस्ट दिस मरकुरी अब इज दिस मरकुरी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम मरकुरी दैट वी गेट फ्रॉम द सॉइल फ्रॉम अ ओर and this is a neutral question i'm asking about shodhan maran in a slightly different way so this is a question that we have discussed before aur aapke man mein kya hai ji iski ye jo mercury ki ye pavan ji ne jo ek baar bataya tha ki jamnagar mein koi aaya tha aur usne is tarah jo hai coal ka boiler ke andar karne ke baad mein upar aa jata hai aur uske से जो है वो मरकरी जो है पर ये कोई एस्टेब्लिश है नहीं क्योंकि तो जितना भी मरकरी है वो सारा इंपोर्ट हो रहा है और प्रोसेस होकर आ रहा है और उस मामले में उस समय भी बात हुई थी कि जिस किसी ने इसके बारे में कोई काम किया हुआ है जैसे पवन जी ने बताया था तो इट वुड बी ग्रेट सर्विस क्योंकि जैसे अब रिस्ट्रिक्टेड इंपोर्ट हो गया है और उन्होंने पोल्यूशन वालों ने कुछ इंफॉर्मेशन जमा की है कि भाई आप इसका जो है अगले दस साल तक तब इंपोर्ट कर सकते हैं कि जब वो पैरामीटर जो है उनका एक फॉर्म है फॉर्म टेन उसको भरेंगे तो उसके बाद में उस सेटिस्फेक्ट्रीली तब इन्वायरमेंट वाले जो ट्रेडर्स हैं या इम्पोर्टर्स हैं उनको मंगा के देंगे तो अभी तक तो जो हमारे लोगों का सिलसिला है तो वही जो पुराना किताबों में लिखा हुआ है इन्वायरमेंटली तो हम उसी मुताबिक ही चल रहे हैं कोई वैसा कोई हुड नहीं है कोई उसका जो वाटर के अंदर जो अगर धोने धुलाने में जो बर्तन है वो निकल जाता है तो उसका भी कोई ऐसा कोई ट्रीटमेंट वगैरह का वही जो अपना वाटर ट्रीटमेंट है वही है एक स्पेसिफिक जो है ना अभी सिलसिला है नहीं और उसको डेवलप करने के लिए भी किसी को वो बड़ा समय लगता है क्योंकि दिस इज और साइंटिफिक बेसिस जो साइंटिफिक डाटा है उसके ऊपर खड़ा उतरे और उसमें पता लगे तब ये है तो मैं पवन जी से ये जरूर रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा कि ये जो अपना उन्होंने कहा था कि भाई मरकरी जो है अवेलेबल हो जाएगा तो अगर अपने कंट्री में ही उस सोर्स के अंदर जो है और इतने बॉयलर लगे हुए हैं थ्रू आउट दंट्री कि ये और वो एक इकोनॉमिकली वाइबल भी होगा जिन लोगों ने ये अपने लगाए हुए हैं बॉलर लगाए हुए हैं तो इट विल बी ग्रेट सर्विस तो इस पारे के बारे में जितना भी है अब एक रह गई कि वो शोधन के बारे में आपने बात की थी तो शोधन के बारे में भी 
निवेदन है कि हमारे संताओं में लिखा हुआ है कि जो हिंगलोथ तो पारद है जहां पे भी कहीं पारा मिल रहा है इस समय तो पारा जो है वो किसी कुएं में नहीं मिल रहा किसी खदान में नहीं मिल रहा वो जो अपना जो ये हिंगुल है ये हिंगुल के फॉर्म में ही जो मिक्स जो है वो 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 उसमें मिलता है और उसी को ही डिस्टिल कर कर के तो उसको बनाते हैं तो जहां तक वो हिंगलोथ पारद वाला सिलसिला है तो वहां किताबों में लिखा जो हिंगलोथ पारद है वो आठ संस्कार को समझा जाए तो उसके मुताबिक है तो मैं समझता हूं कि जब हम पारा ही जो है वो उसके अंदर नेचर के अंदर हिंगलोथ के रूप में ही मिलता है और उसी को ही ट्रिपल डिस्टर्ब करके वो चाहे वो मर्क का कंपनी है चाहे कोई भी कंपनी है वो करती है तो उसकी फर्दर प्योरिफिकेशन या फर्दर उसके संस्कार जो है संस्कार तो उसके गुण वृद्धि के लिए तो हो सकते हैं पर उनके दोष जो है मैं ये समझता हूँ कि ये अभी तक भी कहीं पर भी जहां जहां भी मेरी अपने आचार्यों से बात हुई है या जो लोग बड़े अपना चाहे कॉलेजेस में है या अदरवाइज भी है ये कहीं एस्टेब्लिश नहीं हुआ है कि साइंटिफिकली कि प्री क्या है और पोस्ट क्या है बिल्कुल जी प्री और पोस्ट के अंदर भी बड़ा फर्क है हमें तो उसको थोड़ा सा एस्टेब्लिश करना पड़ेगा कि हाँ भाई कुछ भी ना कुछ क्या उसके अंदर चेंजेस आई हैं और वो चेंजेस जो है वो कितना गुणात्मक है मैं ये समझता हूँ कि ये जो भावना का जो है कि भाई उसके साथ वो तो पोटेंशलाइज हो जाता है कल भी भाषण हो रहा था तो उसमें मामले में भी पोटेंशलाइजेशन की बात में थी दोनों थी कि <laughs> क्योंकि काफी चीजें तो जो है वो बिल्कुल ही प्योर ही मिल रही है जैसे चाहे कॉपर है चाहे जिंक है चाहे टिन है या पारत की मैंने बात की तो ज्यादातर चीजें तो उसी हिसाब से मिल रही हैं और ये जो अबरक और ये लो वगैरह जो है या स्वर्ण मार्क्षिक है स्वर्ण मार्क्षिक में शोधन की जरूरत पड़ती है उसके लिए भी एक अलग से प्रोसेस है क्योंकि उसके अंदर से गंधक उड़ानी पड़ती है तो इस हिसाब से वो सारी चीजें हैं मैं ये समझता हूँ कि ये जो प्रक्रिया है अब सिद्धिनंदन मिश्रा जी ने भी किसी किताब में लिखा हुआ कि इस पर पंच में ना पढ़ के चूर्णों दो में शोधन कर लिया जाए कहीं पे वो है कि आप सात बार जो है उसको शोधन करें वो प्रक्रिया में क्या चेंजेज होती है क्या है वो अभी तक जो है कल भी पवन जी ने कहा था कि इतने सालों के थीसिस के बाद पे भी कहीं उसके ऊपर कोई वर्क नहीं हुआ है और जहां कहीं भी अभी भस्मों के ऊपर भी काम हो रहा है उन लोगों को जहां पे सीसीआरएस ने कोई प्रोग्राम दिए हुए हैं या जो इस मामले में काम हो रहा है वहां पे भी ये जो है कि स्टेप बाय स्टेप जैसे कि हमारे एस में या मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रैक्टिस के अंदर होता है कि भाई एक स्टेप के बाद में क्या चेंजेज हुई दूसरे स्टेप के बाद में क्या चेंज हुई तभी आपको उसको साइंटिफिकली वैलिडेट कर सकते हैं वो अभी तक तो काम हुआ नहीं भसम बन गई उन्होंने अबरक भसम भी बना ली दस फुट में भी अबरक भस बन गई चंद्रिका रहित भी बन गई और उसको आपने और पुट दे करके सस पुटी तक बना लिया उसके गुण ज्यादा उतने उतने नैनो पार्टिकल जो है वो बढ़ते गए जितना आप गुणम मर्दनम गुणवर्धनम वाला काम जो है उस हिसाब से वो वो अपनी जगह पे ठीक है और उसके भी स्टैंडर्ड होने चाहिए कि भाई भस्म अगर बन गई है तो किस भस्म को जो एक्सेप्टेबल भस्मे हैं अभी तक एक ही किताब है वो जो 1980 में छपी है फार्मोकोपियर स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ इंडियन मेडिसिन उसकी उसी किताब के ऊपर भस्मों का उसके अंदर लिखा हुआ है <laughs> तो मेरा अपना स्वयं का विचार है कि भाई जो ए में लिखा हुआ है या जो संहिताओं में लिखा है उसी का पालन हो रहा है या लोग कर रहे हैं या नहीं कर रहे हैं वो जैसे ट्रेड सीक्रेट की बात कही गई मैं समझता हूँ कि ये अगर भावनाएं जो है जब भस्मीकरण होता है फुटपाथ जब होता है उस समय अगर दिया जाए क्योंकि जब वो एक पाउडर फार्म में होगा और उसको नैनो पार्टिकल के अंदर कन्वर्ट करना किया जाएगा उस समय अगर ये भावनाएं दी जाए तो वो उसका जो असेम्बलेशन है बाई डेट पाउडर डेट बाई डेट मेटल डेट विल बी मच बेटर कि आप एक राह के ऊपर जो है एक धातु जो है वो आप इसको कॉपर को लेकर के या जिंक को लेकर के ऊपर आप करते हैं तो वो उससे बेहतर जो है रिजल्ट उसमें निकलेगा या दिस इज जस्ट फॉर डिस्कशन शेक है कि अभी कह भी रहे थे कि भाई उन्होंने मुल्तानी जी से और अपना उमर वगैरह दूध पापेर से इसमें बात की है तो ये सब चीजें जो है इस हिसाब से होना चाहिए कि भावनाएं जो है 
वो बाद में दी जाए मैं भावना के और भावना में भी जो है ना ग्रंथों के अंदर जो या ए में जो लिखा हुआ है वो लिखा भाई इसकी भावना दे दी जाए भाई अगर आपने कुछ सोरस की भावना देनी है तो कितनी भावना देनी चाहिए सौ एम एल सौ ग्राम के लिए सौ एम देनी चाहिए कि दो सौ एम देनी चाहिए कितनी देर तक उसको टिचुरेट करना चाहिए ताकि उसके अंदर नैनो पार्टिकल बन जाए तो ये सभी एक बड़ा विषद है उसमें एक एक दवाइयां लेकर के उसके ऊपर काम किया जाए अभी आज भी जो हो रहा था इसमें कई चीजें ऐसी है कि जैसे परवाल के बारे में भी बात थी अब परवाल जो है कोरल है और ये कोरल रीड जो है वही प्रयोग हो रहा है जितनी भी फोटोज आई हैं वो परवाल मूल की आई है परवाल की नहीं आई है और परवाल जो है वो बहुत कम मात्रा में मिलता भी है और जो रीड जो है वो इस उसका काम जो है वो जो समुद्र के किनारे हैं उसको जो मिट्टी काटने वाला जैसे कि उसके ऊपर बैन है परवाल रीड्स के ऊपर जो है कोलो रीड्स के ऊपर बैन है उसका कारण यही है कि जब आप समुद्र के किनारे से वो जो एक नेचुरल जो एक टट बना हुआ कि ताकि इरोजन ऑफ दॉयल ना हो उसको रोकने के लिए है पर फिर भी वो मिल रहा है इसी तरह मोती के बारे में जितने हम मोती मिल रहा आज से को पचास साल पहले वो बसरे के मोती होते थे गोल गोल बड़े बड़े सुंदर सुंदर वो होते थे अब जितने भी हैं वो सब कल्टीवेटेड है जहां भी आप चाहे कितना भी महंगा ले लीजिए चाहे कितना सस्ता ले लीजिए दिस इज ऑल कल्टीवेटेड है तो अब वो जो कल्टीवेटेड है और वो जो नेचुरल मोती है उसमें क्या फर्क है फिर अभी बात हो रही थी कि कैल्शियम तो सब में है किसी में 90 परसेंट है किसी में 54 परसेंट है किसी में क्या है तो बाई एस्केलेटिंग दी रेट्स या उसको ज्यादा महंगा बेच करके या ज्यादा महंगा लेकर के उसको काम किया जाए तो वो मैं समझता हूँ कि उससे बेहतर है कि भाई आजकल का जो कंपटीशन का युग है उस कंपटीशन के युग में भाई जो हमारे बेसिक्स है उसके साथ कोई कंप्रोमाइज नहीं होना चाहिए उसके थेरापोटिक वैल्यू जो है वो उसको कैसे बढ़ाया जा सकता है उसके ऊपर काम होना चाहिए पर फॉर द सेक ऑफ भी शास्त्रों में 300 साल पहले या 500 साल पहले या हजार साल पहले जो लिखा गया था उस समय क्या क्या चीजें थी वो ठीक है मैं उनके जो विद्वता उसके बारे में मैं कोई कोई क्वेश्चन नहीं करना चाहता उस समय की स्थिति और थी आज के युग में हम लोग जो है अब देखिए कि घर के ऊपर बैठ के ही मोबाइल के ऊपर ही हम लोग जो है जूम मीटिंग कर रहे हैं अब वो पॉसिबल उन लोगों के पास भी कुछ सूक्ष्म यंत्र रहे होंगे उन लोगों ने उस समय काम किया तो उसको रिवेलीडेट करने के लिए मैं कहता हूँ वो उन्होंने ठीक ही लिखा है रिवेलीडेट करने के लिए ये सब चीजों की जरूरत है अभी किसी कॉलेज में मेरी एक साउथ के कॉलेज में एक भसम गई थी शंख भसम तो वहां से वापस आ गई उन्होंने कहा मैं, मैंने पूछा मैंने कहा भाई मैंने अपने आदमी से कहा ये रीजन तो पूछो क्या है उन्होंने कहा ये वारितर नहीं है अच्छा। भी जितने सुधा वर्ग की चीजें वो सारी हाइड्रोस्कोपिक होती है वो वारितर कहाँ से होगी तो ये दीज आर दी वेरी बेसिक थिंग्स के भाई उन चीजों के बारे में हाँ हम लोग तो जैसे भी जितने भी बस में होती है सबके बारे में एक ही धारणा है कि सभी बस में जो है रेखा पूर्ण हो वारितर हो अभी आपने नैनो पार्टिकल्स के बारे में भी एक बात हुई थी अभी बस में तो इसके नैनो पार्टिकल्स तो ऐसे सहज में ही है इसके अंदर तो नैनो पार्टिकल्स की कोई तो कि ये इतनी जल्दी इतनी आसानी से बन जाती है हाँ नैनो पार्टिकल जो देखना हो तो लो भसम है मंडूर भसम है आपके अबरक भसम है इन सब चीजों के ऊपर नैनो पार्टिकल वगैरह का आ, हमारे पास नैनो पार्टिकल एनालाइजर भी है उससे भी हम लोग जो है उसका देखते हैं एक हमने एक स्टैंडर्ड बनाया हुआ है उस हिसाब से काम होता है तो ये एक बृहद विषय है एक ये कह देना कि आज से किताबों में ये लिखा हुआ है रसरतन समुच्चय में ये लिखा हुआ है रसराज सुंदर में लिखा है आरोग्य प्रकाश में ये लिखा हुआ है और आप ये देखेंगे थोड़ी सी ये भी एक विडंबना है कि जो किताबें पहले लिखी गई हैं और उसके बाद में एक आयुर्वेदार संग्रह है वैद्यनाथ वालों की रामरक्ष पाठक जी ने लिखी है या वहां की किताब है कालेडा की रसरतन समुच्चय वो है दो, दो भाग है उस किताब के भी हैं तो वो वो किताबों के सिवाय वो भी तीस साल या चालीस साल पचास साल पहले लिखी गई थी उसके बाद में फर्दर उसके रिप्रिंट ही होते गए भाई जब आप एक नया एडिशन आता है इन दिन मेन टाइम उस मामले में कुछ न कुछ शोध होना चाहिए कुछ उसके अंदर एडिशन कुछ डिलीशन वो, 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 वो काम भी नहीं हो रहे हैं फिर जैसे बैंड आइटम की भी, भी कोई बात हो रही थी अभी अंबर की बात हो रही थी भाई वो बैंड ही आइटम है कि भाई आप वो वेल के अंदर से निकाल ही नहीं सकते ये नहीं काम कर सकते और उसका सब्सिट्यूट क्या है उस सब्सिट्यूट के बारे में भी उतना क्या हो सकता तो ये सब ऐसी चीजें हैं जो मेरे मन में रहती है और मैं अपना पवन जी से जो है या आपने जो हमारे फ्रेंड्स हैं उन लोगों से भी जो हमारे इंडस्ट्री सर्कल वाले आदमी हैं उनसे भी मैं बात करता हूँ मैं तो ये समझता हूँ कि जो लिखा है उसको करना चाहिए 
डॉक्टर साहब आपने जो उठाया बात इसमें एक सॉरी टू इंटरप्ट जी एक जो चीज जो निकल रहा जी दिस इज ए आपने ऑल द पॉइंट्स यू हैव लिस्टेड कि सरकार की तरफ से वी नीड आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ अ प्री कॉम्पिटेटिव एरिया ऑफ वर्क जी इसका मतलब वी आर सेइंग स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन ऑफ बस and we are saying purane samhitao mein this was the thing for, for it is it is good but not adequate for further research in 21st century and beyond so this is a question and who is going to fund this it cannot be one industry it cannot be any one of the 20 partners so 20 25 logon ke we must bring them together in a consortium number 1 and the aim of the consortium must be clear ki kis liye we are going to do pre competitive work and that pre competitive work will be sponsored by the government kyon because out of the basmas if they are standardized and refined we can have a competitive edge in a global scenario hindustan ke hamare jo aapne jo bataya kitabon mein we have competitive advantage nobody can read sanskrit एक तो हो एक हो गया दूसरी चीज है पांच छह सौ साल से चल रहा काम यहाँ उसका क्लिनिकल एप्लीकेशन भी है हमारे पास उसको थोड़ा रिफाइन करें रिफाइन करके इट विल बिकम अ कॉम्पिटेटिव एडवांटेज अब हिंदुस्तान इज मेकिंग हाइपरसोनिक मिसाइल ब्रह्मोस मिसाइल ठीक है दिस इज जस्ट लाइक ब्रह्मोस मिसाइल जो रशास्त्र में जो औषधियां हैं दिस इज जस्ट लाइक ब्रह्मोस मिसाइल क्यों नहीं दिस इज ऑफ द सेम कैलिबर इट इज अ वेरी पावरफुल इंटरवेंशन एंड दैट अंडरस्टैंडिंग पांच छह सौ साल से हमारे पास है इट इज यूज टू रूटीनली सम फार्म को विजिलेंस इंफॉर्मेशन इज ऑलरेडी देयर इट इज सेफ टू यूज सो मेनी पीपल आर यूजिंग इट ऑन अ डेली बेसिस वी आर गेटिंग अ रिस्पॉन्स ऑन दिस सो आई थिंक the government central government ministry of ayush ccras our uh, siddha wale unani wale i think we must encourage our central council for research in ayurveda unani siddha everybody must come together along with the industry so i am hoping jo meeting jo pavan ji ne bataya ki we must all come together usme ye clarity aani chahiye ji we are discussing pre competitive work ki it will benefit everybody sabke liye jo kuch industry chal raha hai sabke for benefiting everybody we have identified some areas for preparing rasa shastra for 21st century and beyond 50 saal lagega is my kaam ke liye 20 saal lagenge zarur usse zyada lagega to kam se kam thoda we get a consensus ji agar 20 ya 25 log hai hamare jo manufacturing log और काउंसिल वाले है हमारे साथ मिनिस्ट्री वाले है हमारे साथ एटलीस्ट वी कैन जनरेट कंसेंसिस कि हमारे तरफ से दिस ग्रुप रेकग्नाइज द नीड फॉर स्टैंडर्ड्स आई एम सॉरी टू इंटरप्ट सर हाँ जी हाँ जी ये जो कल भी बात हुई थी कि हमारे जो पीजी स्टूडेंट है राष्ट्रास्त्र और भैसेज कल्पना के हाँ जी वो जितने भी काम करते हैं जो ऑलरेडी संहिताओं में लिखा है उसी को रिपीटेशन करके फिर उसे कुछ हटके क्यों ना किया जाए बिल्कुल उसकी, उसकी रिपोर्ट्स जो है वो नेगेटिव भी आ सकती हैं वो इतनी इंकरेजिंग नहीं हो जाएंगी तो पर कम से कम एक कम्पिटिटिव जो जो पुरातन है और जो अरवा चीन है और मॉडर्न टेक्नोलॉजी के साथ जो चीजें हो रही हैं उस हिसाब से उसको किया जाए और ये मेरा गवर्नमेंट तो ठीक है गवर्नमेंट अपनी जगह पे है पर उसके लिए मैन पावर चाहिए और मैन पावर जो हमारे जो पीजी स्टूडेंट्स हैं इस विधा के अंदर राष्ट्रास्त्र और भैसेज कल्पना के अंदर मेरे ख्याल पचासों कॉलेज होंगे जहाँ पे पीजी है उन लोगों को यही जो है थी जो है कंपलसरीली कर दिया जाए कि वो काम करेंगे फिर बात ये हुई थी कि भाई अब उनकी फंडिंग की बात हो जाती है कि जो बच्चे भी जो होते हैं कुछ तो गवर्नमेंट वालों में है उनको वहां से स्टाइपन मिलता है उसके अंदर भी एक लिमिटेड उनको पैसे मिलते हैं कि उसके मुताबिक उन्होंने काम करना है उन लोगों उस काम को जो फंडिंग जो है वो डेट कुड बी डन बाई दिस गवर्नमेंट की भाई पीसीआई है या सी वो काम कर सकता है 
तो ये जो प्रैक्टिकल डिफिकल्टीज ऑफ द इंस्टीट्यूशन जो है तो जब तक आप एक मैं कहूँ की जो लिखा हुआ उसी को ही दोबारा आप प्रमाणित करें कि भाई हमारे ग्रंथों में जो लिखा है वो बिल्कुल ठीक है भाई आप उससे हट से क्यों नहीं करते बिल्कुल काम करेंगे तभी कुछ को पता लगेगा कि भाई कहाँ पे है तो मेरी ये एक सजेशन है कि ये अधिकारियों तक और ये जो कॉलेजेस के जैसे नेशनल काउंसिल फॉर आई एस एम एन सी आई एम बना हुआ है तो वो सब उन्ही चीजों को प्रोत्साहित करेंगे कि इसको ऐसा किया जाए और फिर एक कई चीजें निकल के आएंगी क्योंकि ये इट इज ए नॉट अ मैटर ऑफ ए डेज और ईयर ये तो ईयर जैसे आपने पचास साल की बात कही तो उसमें से एक बात निकल के आएगी और इसके साथ साथ में कुछ किताबें लिखी भी जानी चाहिए आरे भी है हमारे पास है आ, और कई कई विद्वान हैं उन लोगों को इनकरेज करना चाहिए कि ये जो रस शास्त्र के ऊपर जो विविधताएं हैं जब भी अभी बात हो रही थी कि क्या कहते हैं भाई ये ट्रेड सीक्रेट है और ट्रेड सीक्रेट को बाहर लाना चाहिए इट मे नॉट बी अथॉरिटी कैटेड भाई आप ये ना कीजिए कि भाई दिस इज ए पार्ट ऑफ ड्रैग एंड कॉस्मेटिक एक्ट पर कुछ ना कुछ उससे अलग निकल के कुछ ना कुछ लिखा जाएगा कुछ आएगा मार्केट में कोई चीज आएगी और फिर उसके हिसाब से काम होगा जो किताबों में लिखा उसके हिसाब से बनाना मुश्किल सा हो जाता है और बन, आ, मतलब एक होता संभव एक होता असंभव कई कई चीजें असंभव लिखी हुई है तो ये सब चीजों को डेवलप करने की जरूरत है अभी मैंने एक चिट्ठी लिखी थी डेवलपिंग ऑफ द मशीनरी है भाई आप भला तक शोधन करना है तो उसको कोई एम्प्लॉय करके ही नहीं राजी है क्योंकि उसका तेल जो है वो, वो, वो निकलता है उसके लिए क्या बेटर वे हो सकता है जयपाल शोधन है और और सब चीजें हैं मशीनरी जो है उनको आर एन डी की जाए कैसे बेहतर क्या कहते हैं बढ़िया काम हो सके या जैसे हमारी जड़ी बूटियां उपलब्ध नहीं है जड़ी बूटियों को भी कैसे उसके एन भी जो है वो पिछले बाईस साल से काम कर रहा है और उसका कोई उपलब्धि दिखाई नहीं दे रही है जड़ी बूटियां मिलने नहीं आसमान के रेट को और जो आइडेंटिफाइड भी नहीं है प्रॉपरली आइडेंटिफाइड नहीं वो कहता है आजकल आज यही मिलता है तो सब सारे जो इंडस्ट्री है उसको कॉम्प्रोमाइज करना पड़ता है तो इस सब चीजों से हटके कुछ ऐसा कोई काम होना चाहिए जो रियली में काम दिखाई पड़े और उससे जो है अपने जो हमारी एक ये प्राचीन और इतनी समृद्ध मैं कहूंगा समृद्ध है क्योंकि भाई आप ये देखिए कि बुखार के लिए ही आप संजीवनी बटी भी दे रहे हैं आप मृत्युंजय रस भी दे रहे हैं आप त्रिभुवन कीर्ति रस भी दे रहे हैं आप महाजोरांकुश रस भी दे रहे हैं कई 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 तरह के जो है वो ए, ए, एक बटियों में ही कितनी परिकल्पनाएं हैं या सुदर्शन घन बटी दे रहे हैं तो कौन कहाँ पे क्या काम कर रहा है कैसे काम कर रहा है उन वो लोग कितने विद्वान आदमी थे उन्होंने कैसे और वो जो आज के दिन के अंदर भी है कि भाई वो बिल्कुल स्थापित हो रहे हैं उनके जो क्लेम थे वो बिल्कुल ठीक हैं तो उन लोगों को एस्टेब्लिश करना दोबारा से इन मॉडर्न वे में तो ये सब चीजों की जरूरत है मेरा इतना निवेदन है थैंक यू सर थैंक यू फॉर बिल्कुल 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 जी आपकी जो पहली वाली बात अबाउट स्टूडेंट्स एंड डेवलपिंग ए न्यू इनिशिएटिव इसमें डॉक्टर साहब हमारी तरफ से एक ही सोच है जी एक जस्ट थॉट कि थोड़ा सा स्ट्रक्चर कर स्ट्रक्चर करने की वी मस्ट मेक अ फाइव ईयर प्लान जैसा वो एंड इट मस्ट बी विद विद सम फोकस्ड गोल्स दिस इज जस्ट अ थॉट कि सर्वे करो देश में कहाँ कहाँ चल रहा है एमडी थी इस प्रशास्त्र के ऊपर उसकी कम से कम एक डेटाबेस तो हो कहीं से वी विल रिक्वेस्ट दैट कि पहले साल वी मेक अ डेटाबेस ऑफ ऑल द कॉलेजेस जहाँ जहाँ एम डी प्रशास्त्र की स्टूडेंट्स हो कौन क्या कर रहा और कौन से प्रोजेक्ट उसकी बेस लाइन करके देन वी कैन इम्प्रूव आई जस्ट वॉन्ट अग्निहोत्री जी इज लिसनिंग आई थिंक ही इज एग्रींग विद आवर उसको कम्पाइल करके अगर शंग भसम के ऊपर काम हुआ है अगर कामर भसम के ऊपर काम किया है उसको कम्पाइल करके और उसका एक जीस्ट बना लिया जाए और उसके आगे काम किया जाए क्योंकि जो रेपुटेशन के ऊपर रेपुटेशन किया जाए वो ठीक नहीं अब बोले आपका अग्निहोत्री जी अग्निहोत्री जी प्रणाम जी नमस्कार सर अभी हम डॉक्टर जेपी शर्मा जेपी सिंह साहब को सुन रहे थे 
और बहुत ही इनोवेटिव और बहुत ही वाइटल थॉट्स इन्होंने दिए हैं लेकिन वहां पर कहीं पर अपना थोड़ा रिजर्वेशन भी है जैसे आपने कहा कि जो भी एम डी के बच्चे आते हैं एम करते हैं उनको कुछ ऐसा प्रोग्राम दिया जाए जो अभी तक तो जो रिसर्च हो चुकी है उससे हट के थोड़ा और जो प्री कॉम्पिटेटिव स्टेट में लाके हम कोई काम पर चैलेंज के तौर पर लें तो एक स्टेज पर हमें कुछ रिजल्ट मिल सकते हैं अब सबसे बड़ी समस्या ये होती है कि जब भी कोई वैसा काम करेंगे तो हमें चाहिए सबसे पहले ग्रंथ का रेफरेंस अगर ग्रंथ का रेफरेंस नहीं होगा तो ये काम अलाउ किया गया नहीं आई में ही फंस जाएगा हम लोग जो इथिकल कमेटी वाले हैं हम लोग ये देखेंगे कि आपने कुछ भी कह दिया जैसे आपने कुछ चीजें तो ऑक्सलिट हो चुकी हैं हो जानी चाहिए जैसे कि हीरे का शोधन खटमल के रक्त से होता था अब कितने कटमल आए कहाँ से रक्त निकले कितनी क्वांटिटी का हीरे का कितने होगा दो चीज ऑक्सीटर वो के ग्रंथ की शोभा बढ़ाते हैं लेकिन जो हम लाइन पे चलने वाले काम से हटके कोई काम करेंगे तो पहले तो उसको आई के क्लियरेंस भी उतना ही जरूरी होता है तब जाके चाहे गवर्नमेंट अपना पैसा लगाए चाहे स्टूडेंट अपना स्कॉलरशिप का पार्ट लगाए कुछ करे और नहीं तो ये हाइपोथेटिकल एक हाइपोथेसिस के हिसाब से कुछ प्रोसिप किया सकता है बट एट द सेम टाइम स्टूडेंट इन्वॉल्व रहता है अपने थीसिस को पूरा करने के लिए विद इन एटीन मंथ्स क्योंकि उसको छत्तीस महीने में एमडी करके निकलना होता है रिजल्ट जो भी निकले प्रोसीड्योर में कई बार पहले बार तो रॉ मटेरियल मिलने में टाइम लग जाता है प्रोसीड्योर में टाइम लग जाता है कभी टीचर की अवेलेबिलिटी नहीं है कभी इलेक्ट्रिक की अवेलेबिलिटी नहीं है कभी किसी के दूसरे साथियों के रूप में मशीन नहीं खाली है बहुत सारे जो पैरामीटर्स है नीफेन बेट्स रास्ते में आते हैं बट इनोवेटिव तौर पर थॉट बढ़िया है अच्छा एक चीज हम और कहना चाहेंगे आज इतना डिस्कशन हुआ जैसे सर बता रहे थे सर जी कह रहे थे ये कैसे हम जानकारी कर पाए कि बराट या मतलब कौली आपने कहा ना कौली या बराट जिसको कहते हैं और कपड़दी का शुक्ति और मुक्ता शुक्ति और इंडिपेंडेंट मुक्ता इन सब में प्राप्त होने वाले कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट के दृष्टिकोण से कौन कहाँ पर कितना इंडिकेटेड है कहाँ कितना उपयोगी है और क्या डिफरेंस है केवल परसेंटेज वेस्ट पर या ये परसेंटेज जब इसका केमिकल एनालिसिस नहीं जानकारी भी था तो कैसे करते थे तो उसमें तो हम यही कहेंगे कि वर्तमान में यही था कि हम लोग चलते हैं बराट भस्म या कपृतिका भस्म मुक्ता शुक्ति भस्म या खाली शुक्ति भस्म या मुक्ता भस्म देन प्रवाल भस्म और प्रवाल दृष्टि इतना सब हो गया तो शायद उस जमाने में तो हम यही मान चलते थे जो रत्न उपरत्न या जो द्रव्य हमारा कीमती ज्यादा है जिसकी भस्म की कीमत ज्यादा है वो ज्यादा वेल्यूल होगा वो देश शरीर के ज्यादा वेल्यूल पार्ट पर काम करता होगा जैसे मुक्ता मन हृदय रोगों के लिए और जो साधारण है उनको हम कहीं पे लगा लेते हैं दूसरे हमारे खनिज द्रव्यों में एक अपना हो गया टंकण और एक जिसकी आज चर्चा नहीं हुई वो भी, भी सी सोर्स का ही है वो है गोदंती आज गोदंती की बात ही जिब्राल्टर के जो खाड़ियों से गोदंती मिलता है हमारे कलम पर तो त्रिभुवन कृति रस गोदंती आता ही था चाहे श्रेष यू लो चाहे जोरग रूप लेना हो चाहे उसको हम उसको लेते थे और टंकल को लेते थे अपना मुखपाक वगैरह के लिए तो शंख भस्म हम नहीं देते हैं शंख भस्म को हम ज्यादा स्ट्रॉन्ग एक एल्कलाइन करके मानते हैं इंटरसिड मानते हैं एक बार हमारे एक पेशेंट ने ऐसे ही साधे पानी दे दिए मुंह में ही छाले बन गए मैंने जबकि कागज में लिखा हुआ था कि इसको आपको शहद से या कॉम्बिनेशन साथ में लेना है तो कैल्शियम की जो एफिकेसी है सी एस थ्री के कंपेरिजन में जो इसका हम रसगुण वीर विपाक किया इसका उष्ण वीर शीतवीर के क्रम में जो पढ़ते चले आए और इस्तेमाल करते थे वो अलग कॉन्सेप्ट है मॉडर्न टेक्नोलॉजी समझाने में उसकी शायद बनाने के प्रोसेस में उसमें आने वाले नैनो पार्टिकल लेवल पर कोई परिवर्तन में और उसकी कॉस्ट वैल्यू पर ये शायद तीन चार पैरामीटर होते हैं जिन पर हम ध्यान रखें कि शायद उसकी एफिकेसी को इन एज ए कैलिनीशियन प्रैक्टिशनर जो है वो इसको कैसे यूज करता है वो भी उतना ही इंपॉर्टेंट है बनाने की प्रक्रिया के अलावा मैन्युफैक्चरिंग में तो आप लोग आ गए हैं लेकिन बना के रशास्त्र वालों ने जब कहा कि सब चीज दे दी डिस्पेंसरी पहुंच गई देन वी हैव टू यूज हम उसको तब यूज करेंगे जो उसके उसके हम रोगाधिकार के क्रम में यूज करेंगे शायद उसमें ये नहीं जान पाएंगे कि कितना कैल्शियम का अवलट है हाँ अगर हम अस्थि के संबंध में बात करेंगे ऑस्टियोथराइटिस में तब हम जाके उसके रिच सोर्स ऑफ कैल्शियम देंगे बट वी अंडरस्टैंड दैट द सी सोर्स कैल्शियम इज इजिली एब्सॉर्ब इन कंपेरिजन टू द बोन मेरो या हम देखते हैं दूसरी चीजें देते हैं जो मॉडर्न मेडिसिन की कैल्शियम नोवा कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट तो ये ये सी सोर्स हमारी सुप्रीमेसी इस चीज की जरूर है तो रिसर्च पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से पहले आई से पास होना जरूरी है और हाइपोथेटिकली चाहे कितने भी कर लें और दूसरे कैल्शियम की कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट की प्रेजेंस डिफरेंट डिफरेंट सोर्सेज में उनके प्रोसेसिंग से प्राप्त होने वाली भस्म पर क्या कुछ है ये स्टिल एक मतलब क्वेश्चन है जो कि आंसरेबल है थैंक यू सर अग्निहोत्री जी थैंक यू फॉर टचिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट हमारे साथ 
जेबी सिंह जी हमारे साथ है मंजुषा जी सरते व्यवहार से दिल्ली से मंजुषा जी नमस्कार जी मंजुषा जी प्लीज अनम्यूट हाँ जी आपके वी वॉन्ट योर कॉमेंट्स आपने जो बैगल साहब की जो रिसर्च इसके बारे में थोड़ा बताना जी सर वो मैं ये कहना चाह रही थी कि लाइक देर इज अ पब्लिकेशन बाय प्रोफेसर बघेल रिसर्च अपडेट्स इन रशिया सॉरी आयुर्वेदा इन विच रशिया इज ऑल्सो इंक्लूडेड सो वो 2001 दो में पब्लिश होके बिल्कुल आई एम नॉट एग्जैक्टली रिमेम्बरिंग बट वो 2015-16 तक सॉफ्ट कॉपी में सर अपडेट होता हाँ। रहा है By Dr. Girish KJ, who is working at Hassan, SDM हाँ College हाँ। of Ayurveda, Hassan. So I think that can be used and say means that to start. save the energy, like yeah, for compiling the work, whatever is being discussed. हाँ जी. On the I think this topics. is Manjusha ji. This is a very important point. क्योंकि उसकी update भी हो गया. There is an update ji. Yeah, up, uh, that up, updates हाँ. have been done in soft copy. Soft copy. हाँ जी. And they'll. और अग्निहोत्री जी बता रहा शुरुआत में कम से कम चर्चा तो हो जी एक्सटेंसिव डिस्कशन that this kind of discussion yes. must be must happen for a prolonged period or touching all the points just say thoda sa wo consensus ki taraf thoda sa soch we can develop a thinking towards consensus so this is a important point jo aapne jo bataya bagel saab ka a lot of work has been done some of bagel saab's work uh, the compilation and the updates are with khandel ji khandel ji in jaipur so they are yeah, all jaipur. people ha uh, ji so they are all people who are very dear to us and they are promoting our activity they are associating with us so we need to bring all of them jaise humne wo we had about four or five session mercury ke upar problem so we had a very very extensive discussion just say a lot of points came out so singh saab jo keh raha ki we identify those points the point about md thesis thoda benchmark kare ki kya kuch hua abhi tak hindustan mein kahan kahan yes. chal raha kaam uska uske thoda dynamic database is har saal update kare ya kam se kam 6 har 6 months thoda sa update kare ki yes, thesis yes, yes. Mm-hmm. and yes. i think uh, manjusha ji i think all india institute ayurveda should take leadership here kyunki you are a uh, very important institution or we must bring all the players together pata nahi how kitne honge pura pura hindustan mein kam se agar maan lo 25 log hai hundreds jo, of colleges ha and hundreds of colleges kam se kam ek database to ho that where we have all this information ki this is what has completed till now uh, so many md theses have been submitted it is a big work i think jo singh saab jo bata rahe that is a very big project and a very important project wo baseline jo banani wali baat dr saab aapki taraf se are you agreeing singh saab aapki taraf se thoda sa ki it's a big project bahut bada kaam hai ji this has to be done and it has to be funded by who ministry ya yeah, ccra is pata nahi kahan se we have to find the funding for this डॉक्टर थोड़ा अनम्यूट यू आर सिंह साहब आपका म्यूट चल रहा है सर प्रोफेसर वंदन सर आई वुड लाइक टू ऐड वन सेंटेंस आल्सो हां जी दैट इन द सेम मैनर आई थिंक द वर्क व्हिच इज गोइंग ऑन इन इन एनी ऑफ द और इन एवरी डिपार्टमेंट इन बीएचयू आल्सो आई डू होप दैट दे हैव आल्सो अपडेटेड इन द uh their uh, departmental websites and update information whatever the work has already done in the different department uh, in reference to the research work is uh, available very much at the same time one thing is also important that uh, we are repeatedly saying that they are in 273 
आयुर्वेदिक कॉलेजेस इन इंडिया गवर्नमेंट एंड प्राइवेट इंक्लूडिंग एंड ऑलमोस्ट ऑलमोस्ट ऑल अदरवाइज मोर देन वन सेवेंटी कॉलेजेस दे आर हैविंग द पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन स्टडीज ऑल्सो in that way either uh, 30 uh, seats 40 seats uh, some, uh, somewhere uh, 68 seat 84 seats so in that way in every subject the going things are going on suggestions like use uh, senior persons and questions are suggestions coming from the manufacturing world is equally important if you have uh, some network with the uh, teachers those who are giving the supervision for the students if they are guided or they are Uh, means informed that this is the sector this is the thrust area where uh, you can pay attention and your students can take the benefit of it our our research work or our knowledge in text will will be more and more vital thank you agni sir ji very important point i just want to hear madam ji madam ji ha ji ha ji ha ji ha ji yeah aisa hai ki agni sri ji ne kaha tha ki ethical committee hai भाई अब वो जो पुराने जो हैं उसके अंदर कुछ मॉडर्नाइज करने के लिए कि कैसे बेटर हो सकता है वो सारी चीजें जो है उसको इथिकल कमेटी को अडॉप्ट करना चाहिए फिर 36 महीने का होता है 18 महीने में पुराना ही जो बी का कोर्स है उसी को रिपीट अप करते हैं उसको थोड़ा सा कम कर करके रि, रियल रिसर्च वर्क के ऊपर ज्यादा समय देना चाहिए फिर जैसे वो जामनगर की थी जो है वो कंपाइल हुई हैं या जो है वो कोई एक पीसीआईएम के अंतर्गत या सी के अंतर्गत उसके जो कंक्लूजन हैं उसको एक समराइज करके कोई थी तो दे रन इन टू कोई दो सौ पेज के अंदर कोई पांच सौ पेज के अंदर कौन पढ़ेगा और कौन करेगा तो उस कंक्लूजन को जो है इकट्ठा कर करके फिर उसमें से बेहतर क्या हो सकता है फॉर दैथी एंड फॉर द सिस्टम उस मामले के अंदर एक आगे आ, अपना रोड पाथ जो है उसमें से बने तब उसके ऊपर काम हो हम दोबारा फिर उसी चीजों को उसी को रिपीटेशन करते रहे तो वेस्टेज ऑफ टाइम वेस्टेज ऑफ रिसोर्सेज ये सभी कुछ होंगे तो इस सब चीजों को ध्यान में रखना चाहिए जैसे ऑल इंडिया आयुर्वेदिक इंस्टीट्यूट है बहुत अच्छा इंस्टीट्यूट है बड़ा बढ़िया है और वहाँ पे बहुत अच्छे अच्छे विद्वान लोग काम कर रहे हैं तो उनके गाइडेंस है क्योंकि हम लोग तो वी आर नॉट इन एकेडमिया में है नहीं क्या प्रॉब्लम होती है क्या काम होता है कैसे क्या होता है उसको कैसे टू डू इज बिजनेस कैसे किया जा सकता है वो सब चीजों को विचार करके ही फिर काम को शुरू किया जाए जिससे कि सिस्टम एज ए होल जो है वो बेनिफिटेड हो सके दिस इज माई अननेस्ट बेस्ट थैंक थैंक यू सर आपने बहुत सर आपने बहुत ही बढ़िया बात कही स्वस्थ तो यही है कि आपके ये जो सजेशंस है दी सजेशन आर टू बी रिफर टू एन एन एस सी आई एम बिकॉज वी आर बाउंड विद द सिलेबस प्रोजेक्टेड और गिवन बाई अवर कमिटी सो हाउ कैन वी डू डेफिनेटली फर्स्ट ईयर इज फॉर द रिकेपुलेशन ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट टॉट इन अंडर ग्रेजुएशन बिकॉज द स्टूडेंट्स आर कमिंग फ्रॉम डिफरेंट कॉलेजेस सो द लेवल ऑफ स्टडीज इज डिफरेंट इन ऑल ओवर इंडिया so when they come to be hu or nir jaipur jamnagar we naturally to make their level up or uh, this is done it is only for one month one year sorry and then allotment of topic along under the particular supervisor supervisor is, is uh, uh, takes some two three months then comes the whole process and thesis writing your one point is very good already which has been done we, we used to use some papers for literary review aridic review and it becomes the thesis becomes voluminous the standard of thesis for indication in bhg it was told it should not exceed 100 100 pages including bibliography but one should come so day taking it should be so concise meaningful summarized uh, uh, discussion and conclusion unnecessary filling the pages is not leading to suffice the purpose so in this way if it is it be, this call is been uh, means owned by the supervisors and post supervisors uh, it will uh, really real in a positive manner otherwise what happened uh, um, uh, under uh, um, uh, under a professor if the thesis was written to 70 pages then the uh, the b will think why should not it go to 300 i, I am not uh, in any way uh, lesser to him so this makes the thesis volumes more and more and the student uh, only uh, fulfilling the desire put by all these directions so the fact, the fact is we should be concise for the uh, process of the research it is not necessarily necessary that the real should be in positive 
it is uh, we are we teach the uh, research process doing the md how for phd purpose we should go to a concrete result whether positive or negative this is what we can do in the terms of the in the light of the modern uh, medicine thank, thank you agnyotri ji thank you thank you ji singh sahab aapne jo bataya ji we must have a database isme dr mary taraf se ye ek soch hai ki all india institute ayurveda mein ek we must have one cell अब जो उनके पास है जर्नल केस स्टडीज केस रिपोर्ट के ऊपर इस टाइप का एक डिपार्टमेंट होनी चाहिए आयुर्वेद इंफॉर्मेटिक्स और बिब्लियोग्राफी के ऊपर मस्ट बी अ सेंट्रल रिसोर्स फॉर द होल कंट्री देश की ऑल द कॉलेज ऑफ द कंट्री मस्ट बी लिस्टेड देर ऑल द यूनिवर्सिटीज जो कुछ वेर एवर देर इज रिसर्च कौन कौन सी स्पेशलिटीज वुट इज गोइंग ऑन and this must be a initiative of all india institute ayurveda and it must be part of their library unki jo library ki staff hai there must be they must have a team who collects all this information aapne jo bataya ji ek page abstract jo thesis ka md thesis ya phd thesis one page abstract name of the author unka contact details or that must be made available as a national resource or a international resource from all india institute ayurveda let us say unki library ki taraf se ek we must start an initiative so that everybody benefits and uh, that ayurvedic literature bibliography current research work will all be updated and i am looking to uh, our senior members of all india institute ayurveda to comment on this कि शायद मंजुषा जी की तरफ से होगा कुछ कमेंट कामिनी जी तो आई थिंक शी हैज लेफ्ट अस टुडे मंजुषा जी आपकी तरफ से कुछ हो कमेंट इसके ऊपर कि ऑल इंडिया इंस्टीट्यूट वाले ऑल इंडिया इंस्टीट्यूट आयुर्वेद वाले शुड टेक द लीडरशिप इसके ऊपर सर ये तो पॉलिसी डिसीजन होगा नहीं नहीं ठीक है बट या या बट लाइक यस इट्स अ गुड वर्क and as far as my subject is concerned i am trying to do the compilation of like shalakya works been Pura done at other places also yeah no, throughout the country to other country yeah throughout the how, country how many how many md programs are running right now ji in shalakya across the country do you have uh, approximately exactly. you don't know the but we need uh, we no it's it more because now every year some colleges new like uh, new colleges pg shala ke okay. being started manjusha ji our request as uh, singh sahab is saying also is we must have a central database ki it must become mandatory ki whoever is registering for a md thesis has to submit their synopsis to this central database and then mm-hmm. their registration takes place so this is a poss- easy easy thing to implement kyunki aajkal with informatics we can very easily create yes. such a database you know, very need, very easy uh, yeah we, we need a team separate team for that bilkul maybe because is iske liye i don't think ki ayurveda person hona hi zaruri hai nahi 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 is library so, science ka library science yeah. informatics ka yeah. honi yeah. chahiye thi wo log kar sakte hain bilkul if, if it is made mandatory i think then data can be generated very easily very, very. and another thing is ctri now is being made compulsory so some Achha. data can be collected from ctri portal also whatever is uh, like not available uh, the wise and now some of the institutes are putting in their uh, websites but it must become a central resource yeah yeah, yeah. it must central become a central is, yeah. central resource ki hamari aajkal hai a shod ganga shod ganga is a very important resource because you can see all the entire phd thesis shod ganga mein mm-hmm. pura mm-hmm. soft copy has to be submitted before you can uh, appear for your exam so you must get a voucher from shodganga saying your soft copy has been submitted 
only then can you go for your viva so we must put those kind of those are simple things to implement for the benefit of everybody ye dusri manjusha ji dusri cheez jo singh sahab jo bata raha ki let us move away from that existing uh, research and look at the science behind this kuch bhi ho whatever is the science contemporary science you are based on the samhita based on the tatvas and refine the future work define the future work and help come up with something new if it is in shalakia then there are so many new procedures you know we say netra uh, tarpan agar usme dekho to there are so many ingredients there may be something yes. which if modified slightly will give extremely beneficial improvements you know uski efficiency will increase the amount of material you have to use will change you uh, we say ghee is to be used ab kahan se le- what is the quality of the ghee yeah we say honey is to be used yes. which is this honey to be used so many different so many different grades so many different sources lavana so many different sources of lavana so all these are details iski taraf do you think this is also a question for singh sahab do you think it is not necessary ki 21st century mai is type ka thoda wo we must have awareness about these things and also improvement in that direction yes and uh, another point like doctors and jo singh sahab keh rahe hain so Anji. in that we need academia and industry collaboration also like in some works it is happening but it's not happening at every place Bilkul. in research field like Haan academy jai. or industry jaise sir bol rahe hain ki hum industry se hai but hmm. isolate hone se nahi dono ko milke kaam karna hoga Bilkul. like in shalakya what happens very few eye drops are available in the market bilkul ji and hmm. if i want to make some uh, formulation into eye drops form hmm. i don't have an industry which can help us Bilkul. so what we do we make distillation and pack it for some time and no. then we have to make the medicine uh, for three four batches that we use for a period of one Bilkul. year or so or 18 months so all those things are to be worked out Bilkul. beautiful point she, very as... beautiful very very important point shad uh, 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 manjusha ji shad singh sahab se thode sune sune ji iske upar singh sahab you have listened बिल्कुल ठीक है कि इंडस्ट्री का जो है ना उसका भी रोल जो है ना वो होना चाहिए और इंडस्ट्री जो है इट मस्ट को ऑपरेट रिगार्डिंग दिस नेत्र बिंदु शीशे अब नेत्र बिंदु को जो अपना स्टेबिलिटी पीरियड है वो किताबों में एक साल का लिखा हुआ है जो ड्रग एंड कॉस्मेटिक एक्ट में है अब वो जितनी देर तक वो मार्केट में पहुंचता है और बिकता है तब तक वो एक्सपायर हो जाता है अब उस स्टेबिलिटी को ना करने के लिए आई ड्रॉप जो है वो धीरे धीरे बंद को कौन बनाए और कौन करे कौन एक्सपायरी को उसके मुताबिक एक साल की एक्सपायरी देनी होती है अदरवाइज हमारे पास आ, इसके आई ड्रॉप बनाने के हैपा वगैरह सब कुछ लगा हुआ है सारी चीजें लगी हुई है सारा जो मॉडर्न के अंदर जितनी जो उसकी स्टेबिलिटी के वगैरह के लिए है जिस किसी की आ, इनके लिए जो आ, कोई जरूरत हो इनके अपने रिसर्च वर्क के लिए या कहा भी है तो वी कैन कोऑपरेट और उस मामले में कि वी विल बी हैप्पी टू कोऑपरेट टू डे ऑल इंडिया इंस्टीट्यूट उसमें भी जहां भी कहीं जरूरत हो और भी कहीं पे तो बात हो रही थी कि अग्निहोत्री जी कह रहे थे कि जब रिसर्च होती है किसी के ऊपर तो वो धातु को ढूंढने में या कोई और चूजने में उसमें तीन चार महीने लग जाते और बाकी के एक आदमी जामनगर में बैठा हुआ वो वहां के पंसारी के पास जाता है वहां पे क्या तरह पे मिलता क्या नहीं है तो उसमें भी जो ये जो फार्मेसिस्ट हैं जिनका कारोबार अच्छा है दे केन सप्लाई फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट डेट वो भी जो औषधियां हैं चाहे वो कास्ट औषधियां हैं चाहे वो अपना मिनरल एंड मेटल्स हैं तो उसमें भी वी कैन जस्ट कोऑपरेट कि भाई बच्चे को कोऑपरेशन मिल सके उस हिसाब से काम हो सके और जहां तक ये रह गया क्या कहते हैं कि वो जो पीरियड जो 18 महीने का है वो एन सी में जो है उसको कम किया जा सकता है भाई प्रोवाइडेड के कोई उनको अप्रोच करे जैसे कई चीजों का 
का पता ही नहीं होता कि आपको भी शायद कई चीजों की जो डिफिकल्टीज हैं वो पता रहता है तो उस हिसाब से मैं समझता हूँ कि हम लोग सारे इकट्ठे मिलकर के एक रोड पाथ बनाए जहां जहां पे भी जरूरत हो क्योंकि एवरीबॉडी वॉन्ट्स की भी जो नेचुरल कमीशन है वो भी इस बारे में अपने वो सुधारा भी उनका एक पीछे एक वेबिनार हुआ था उसमें उन्होंने कहा था कि जो बी और पीजी जो राष्ट्र कल्पना और दर्भगुण में उनको इंडस्ट्री में कैसे क्या कहते हैं उनका यूज किया जा सकता है उनको नौकरी कैसे मिल सकती क्या किया जा सकता तो दे आर ऑल थिंकिंग और उसके अंदर ये रोड पाथ को ठीक करने के लिए वी मस्ट वर्क टूगेदर सिट टूगेदर एंड परस्यू डेट मैटर सिंपली यहीं पे आके यहाँ पे हमने छोड़ दिया मामले को बस इसके बाद में छुट्टी हो गई तो डेट मीन्स ए थारो वर्क तो हम विद यू और इस मामले के अंदर पवन जी के साथ जो है और पवन जी का भी बड़ा तीस साल का एक्सपीरियंस है तीस बत्तीस साल का एक्सपीरियंस है मेरा भी पचास साल का एक्सपीरियंस है तो कि गालिब साहब है वहां पे ऑल इंडिया मेडिकल इंस्टीट्यूट में फिर प्रजापति सर हैं और सभी कई हैं तो सब लोगों के साथ मिलजुल के एक ऐसा कुछ एक फोरम बना करके जो जो प्रैक्टिकेबल है उसको किया जा सकता है डॉक्टर द्विवेदी हैं एल के द्विवेदी हैं मतलब यही है कि भाई नॉलेज शेयरिंग की बात है मैं ये मेरा जो शुरू से काम है कि अगर हम फार्मेसी में दवाइयां बनाते हैं और अगर कोई कंप्रोमाइज भी करते हैं तो उसको नॉलेज शेयर करने में क्या हर्ज है हो सकता है मैं गलत कर रहा हूँ आपसे पूछने से मैं उसमें सुधार कर सकू हमारे हमारी इंटेंशन जो है वो आ, अपना चोरी करने की ना हो हमारी इंटेंशन हो सकता हाउ टू इम्प्रूव आवर क्वालिटी तो उस मामले के अंदर हम एक दूसरे से मिल करके अच्छा काम कर सकते हैं और सिस्टम एज ए होल आगे बढ़ेगा तो उसमें हम सभी को फायदा होगा मेरी ऐसी पूरी उम्मीद है और मुझे पूरा आशा है थैंक यू सो मच यूर कॉमेंट्स आर एक्सेप्टेड वेरी डीपली अप्रिशिएटेड जी इसमें चर्चा से ही निकलेगा जी कुछ आगे डायरेक्शन आई थिंक वी हैव टू कम टुगेदर एज अ ग्रुप एंड जस्ट डिस्कस कीप डिस्कसिंग ओपन ओपन डिस्कशन जी जी सी क्योंकि द फ्यूचर फॉर ऑल ऑफ दिस फॉर्मुलेशन जो कुछ है एवरीथिंग इज ह्यूज 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 पोटेंशियल ग्लोबली or unless we have a collective uh, thinking about this we will never be able to pick the momentum to reach wo jo jahan pahunchna hai we won't be able to reach this so pavan ji has put the ha ji 350th webinar ke upar pavan ji has put his poster here so agnyotri ji please please add your comments ji i just sir, want sir, to sir, sir, thank you thank you i would like to say one thing uh, mm-hmm. for dr manjusha ji as she is belong to ent department and she told that uh, uh, manufacturers are not coming forward uh, with the uh, more and more i drops preparations so i am not here to advertise for any manufacturer but uh, she would agree with me that at least two three uh, i drops are very famous in india uh, the first one is icetone of bareilly by dr basu sadaji it's very very effective and he has got its uh, complete advertisement along with the previous presidents uh, present uh, uh, means uh, uh, one of the prime ministers and other and he had a very good contribution way back in 1999 when we organized the haridwar uh, in in haridwar ayurved mahotsav under uh, the chairmanship of madam aradhna shukla who was dm in haridwar so uh, he engaged so many my students for the all purposes for i examination and all that and second one is our har ki idhar haridwar mein hi ujala drops ujala drops is also very important though some adulteration there and now they have become some new ujala drops like that and third one is we don't want to go any far uh, he is uh, the patanjali divya uh, pharmacy of uh, ramdev ji he is coming with the, some drishti um, uh, drishti um, in general for adult and some soft one for the uh, say kids so a few two three uh, uh, say preparations including uh, payaj and uh, uh, lavender and uh, shahad they are making where it is been uh, properly say checked and examined and what are the pros and cons of how much it is meritorious but it is running like anything so dr um sangeet manjusha can make a uh, and and all the uh, literature is available of dr basu icitun 
and uh, Divya, Divya, I, I know. So with her suggestion, they can, she can request to these manufacturers that uh, which type of uh, other uh, eye drop she wants to get prepared, and that too for the sake of research work of their MD scholars, or ultimately uh, for the um, market purpose. They will, uh, when the real should be there, they will definitely go forward to make uh, it for the common man available. This for my session. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Agni Othriji, may I add one thing, sir? Yeah, sure, sure. Why not? This is this is the open platform. No, no, open. No, no. We are crossing. Uh, we have already crossed at uh, 9 p.m. So that's true. That's true. I am very scared. I have uh, to complete my Durga, but, Durga part also. That two of two and a half hours. Complete uh, one to thirteen. Yeah, so, so there is one thing that uh, this is uh, You have uh, a name of three, four, three, four uh, concerns. So I come across the, to have a photo with the president of India or to have a photo with the prime minister of India. It doesn't make the things like it is very. That's not the purpose. Purpose is the efficacy. Yes. That's but, not the way. It is getting rather, advertised. Rather, Agni Uttariji, we are over claiming. I think oh. uh, except Shri Dharan. Ah, and they are not uh, sharing their knowledge with the people. Okay. Uh, to my knowledge, he, they, uh, they are keeping all their knowledge with them. And uh, recently, uh, some uh, uh, daughter of some president of a foreign country, uh, mm -hmm. they have a uh, record and all that. Uh, they should be requested that Gyan Bartne se Bartha hai, or Gyan ko Johanna Birko lake, uh, Usko Kalakarkani Rakanachaye, or Yejo Sidi Pati Hena, Matalbi Mesamasonki, Yejo Hum Isilibi Badanam Hairway Dwale, he um false claim both Karte, he am Joe Datina could be Tikar de Tam, Pornian Alsur could be Tikar de Tam, Yebi Kardete. So it is such a easily iski jo uh um eye drop banana ke bare me jo hai uno jo say in uh injection banta jitini was the precaution of the sterility gay, usili is a sapse ye sari uh sanki gay, or we were sign jo mene uh one be the key hai, upna de pharmacy me the key, both a chaun kai be unit hai, or or be the gape hai, to me some sonki uh ये जो बना करके और फोटोग्राफ के साथ में जो अपने आप को प्रोजेक्ट करना है वो मैं कहता हूं वो अच्छा नहीं है रादर श्री धनन जी से सीखने की बात है जो श्री धनन जो है वो बहुत अच्छा उनका है दिल्ली में भी उनका था फिर धीरे-धीरे मतलब जो जो भी उनको रादर दे शुड मल्टीप्लाई देमसेल्फ्स जो है ना इस सिस्टम का नाम अब मोदी जी ने अपना उसका President ki daughter ka naam kiya usse Ayurved ka globally ek prachar prasar bada. Par agar wo ek parivar tak ki simat reh jayega to wo baat achhi nahi. Dhanyawad sir. Thank you very much. Sir, thank you. Bilkul sir, aapne bilkul sahi kaha. Mera ye chikon nahi tha ki yar kisi chiz ki advertisement unke dwara ho rahi to uski efficacy hogi. Baat wo nahi the. Sikke ki dono pehlu hai. Efficacy pehle. Moreover, sabhi netro kewal eye drops agar thik hote hote to bichara sapta mein tulo kya karega? हमारे पास अभ्यंतर प्रयोग के लिए अलग औषधियां हैं स्थानीय प्रयोग के लिए आई ड्रॉप ये तो डॉक्टर मंजूषा का पॉइंट था इसलिए मैंने कहा कि अगर अगर वो कम्युनिकेट कर सके तो जो भी कोई बना रहे हैं वो उनके उनकी बात को उनकी भावना को पकड़ सकेंगे बाकी जितने आई एफिलिएशन से आई के प्रॉब्लम्स हैं उनके लिए सिस्टेमिक भी चीजें भी चाहिए और लोकल भी चाहिए और जहां सर्जरी है वहां पर हमें फिर रेफर भी करना सीखना चाहिए तो थैंक यू थैंक यू अग्निहोत्री जी थैंक यू Singh sahab, all your points are noted. Ki hamari recording bhi hai ji. We can revisit aapke pura point. Manjusha ji, thank you very much for joining us today. I hope you will join us in future uh, yeah. discussions because this is very important ki All India Institute Ayurved walon ke saath thoda uh, interaction rahe hain. Ab the, Goa mein, I think there is a new campus coming, All India Institute Ayurved Goa. Yes. So, wahan se bhi we need these kind of active interactions because we are still far from having enough manpower, credibility, and uh, energy to reach the global audience. There, yes. is an there is an opportunity, but I think we are far from uh, prepared to engage with the global markets and the global needs. So we need everybody's help and the teamwork is so important. I think with those few words, I want to draw this event to a close. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks everybody. Domaji, thank you very much. Jayesh ji, thank you very much.
and uh, Rajanji has joined us. I want to... Madanji, 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 could you Madanji. find little time for me? कि अभी नेत्र रोग के बारे में काफी बात कर रहे थे कि सब लोगों का अपना अपना ब्रांड के ऊपर ही लेकिन एक जमाना ऐसा था कि वो डीस कंपनी का आईटोन ड्रॉप एक ही आ रहा था आयुर्वेदिक सिस्टम से और उससे पहले माने थेरेपेटिक यूज में जहां कहीं भी वर्ती का उपयोग होता है आज कोई चंद्रोदय वर्ती या सिद्धनागार्जुन वर्ती के बारे में चर्चा करे अगर हम पहले जब माने 50 इयर्स बैक व्हेन श्रीनिवास आयुर्वेदिक सेंटर हैज पुट अप इन 1971 बिफोर दैट आल्सो इट वाज देयर बट इट वाज इन पार्टनरशिप हां एट दैट टाइम वी वर देयर इनफ टू गिव व्हिच एवर द आई स्पेशलिस्ट सेज दैट द कैटरैक्ट इज नॉट राइट फॉर सर्जरी दैट इज व्हाई यू कंटिन्यू लाइक दैट इन दोस केसेस आल्सो वी वर एडमिनिस्ट्रिंग चंद्रोदय वर्ती with rose water at that time we were very um, that means dare enough to uh, without hesitation because any medicine which is put either in worthy reference uh, will it be a cataract extraction will be very smoothly it will not be smoothly na naturally there will be little ir irritation if the irritation comes if the patient immediately rush, uh, rushes to Hmm, uh, ophthalmologist, he will simply comment that it is reaction, it is infection. Huh? Then, in what way we are proceeding with the therapeutic values, and in what way we are able to convince the masses without irritation, there cannot be uh, extraction of cataract. Likely, but in those days, was not there, was there even till to this date also. My patients are urging to provide uh, uh, worthy, but I am not giving them. Why I am not giving them? These days are very sensitive. We, should, we always should be assented by modern medicine people. Otherwise, we will become fools in the market and will be blamed in the market. We are so cautious and simply taking the uh, uh, people's brand names, uh, we are discussing. Why didn't we go to Siddhanagarjuna Varthi and Chandrodaya Varthi? Why was not the put up of those in therapeutic world already in the text? No. It is vanished. Would they not work? Have they tried in any section and have uh, brought out? If not, uh, why they are re references in the mm, uh, text in Samhita somewhere, Chikita Sana, like that? Thank you very much. Thank you, Dramaji. You always give us some, some deep points to discuss. Thank you so much for sharing this. I think Manjusha ji has made a note of these comments. Uh, we will draw. Dramaji, thank you again for raising important points, historic points of some... I would, very, have, very... Felt, I would have felt much glad if they have referred the textures references first. Then only you go. Because they were rishis. They, rishis means not that in Sanskrit terminology. They were really scientists. Scientists, scientists in English terminology is one and the same of rishi in Sanskrit. They were great scientists. How did they brought? How did they bring? How did they bring these formulations? And in those formulations also, so many are there which are minerals. Now we are researching. They have adapted in those days hundreds of years back, whereas we are going for research and one this thing. Another commentary was that from Madanji, integrated, integrated, integrated. So, here a course called GCIM, Governing Council of Integrated Medicine. GCIM scholars, those who are most, uh, uh, that means fancy of different systems, that means Ayurveda, Yunani, otherwise, most of the people have run after modern medicine only. Though 60% was Ayurveda and 40% modern medicine in this area. But none have practiced, not many. But those who are posted in government dispensaries, Ayurvedic dispensaries and Yunani dispensaries having the qualification of this area, they, they are compelled to practice. But some are there, this area. I tell that even our Yunani doctor, Samad Khan, GCIM tha. 
लेकिन उनको जो है ना गल्फ कंट्रीज वाले बुला करके इलाज करते थे उन्होंने मर गया अभी गल्फ कंट्रीज में कहीं सऊदी में क्वाइट में कहीं मर गया काफी पैसा दे करके उनको बुलाते थे वो टोटली यूनानी प्रैक्टिस करता था समझ खान यहाँ पर मेडिकल ऑफिस सीनियर मेडिकल ऑफिसर था यूनानी डिस्पेंसरी में मबुनर में तो ऐसे लोग वो लोग अपना कैलिबर से डेवलप करे हैं आइदर इन प्रैक्टिस आर इन रेफरेंस आर इन देर नॉलेज बट टूडे वी आर स्ट्रगलिंग ओनली फॉर सर्वाइवल सर्वाइवल अरे ऑलरेडी इज एस्टाब्लिश्ड यू कंटिन्यू ऑन रिसर्च एंड एट द सेम टाइम हियर शोधना के बारे में जहां हम बोल रहे थे वहां पर एक की बात में कैल्शियम डेरिवेशन के बारे में शंक जो होता है उष्णवीरी होता है और कौड़ी जो होता है खपरद का जो होता है उष्णवीरी नहीं होता है शीतवीरी होता है और मोती तो बराबर शीतवीर मुक्ता शक्ति शीतवीरी होता है प्रवाह फिर उसमें दो बना सकते हैं कि ये सबको उष्ण शीत उष्ण शीत कहा से इवेल्युएट करेंगे मदन जी अकॉर्डिंग टू मॉडर्न थेरेपी and moreover the calcium derived from moti uh, is useful even to eye diseases but whereas the calcium derived from shanka is useful to uh, eye diseases no it improves the sight whereas the moti is concerned and it is hartnic also at the same time but shanka is not a hartnic so many classic patients in natural abundance natural abundance their char- their characteristic is different we have to find the characteristic of one calcium and at the same time uh, giving the shodhana shodhana me which nimuras uh, se kiya jata hai lekin kyun why not tamarind both are acidic no it cannot be shodhana me nimuras se kiya jata hai lekin uh, isse imli se imli ka ras se kiya nahi jata aur amle ke ras me karne ka bhi ho sakta hai lekin imli ka ras me nahi hota hai और दूसरी बात जो है ना यहाँ पर कहा क्यों किस लिए बोला तो काफी दे करके गए हैं उसके बारे में ठीक सतर्क रख करके वेरी मैंने अटेंटिव इन प्रैक्टिस वुड बी मच एक्सलेंस फॉर दी सेक्शन ऑफ आयुर्वेदिक पीपुल थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू दोमा जी ऑलवेज ऑलवेज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट जो आपने शोधना के बारे में जो बताया थैंक यू दोमा जी वी विल डिस्कस दिस this is a continuing discussion pavan ji is bringing us together to touch on all these points in the next few days so we will discuss this i want to draw this meeting to a close thanks everybody thanks all our senior uh, scholars today who were with us and particularly thanks to manjusha ji manjusha ji namaskar thank you for joining us today thank you for raising thank you for raising very, very important points and please keep joining us in our future programs also yeah. and i hope pavan ji will bring you back and your collaborators for some, one day related to eye health somewhere with those few words thanks from me jayesh ji thank you so much there is only one other person left anand prakash pandey ji who is here rajan ji is also here with us uh, rajan ji pandey ji we look forward to having you again in future programs but we will draw this meeting to a close agniyotri ji we will have a few words from you i think jayesh ji is uh, sir uh, interested to say something no jayesh ji was jayesh ji namaskar no jayesh ji namaskar yeah rajan ji sir i will just you are interested to give me kudos राजन जी ट्रेवलिंग सो हिस्स सिग्नल इज स्लाइटली वीक थोड़ा लगता थोड़ा कट रहा सिग्नल बाद में बात करेंगे सुनूंगा भी और बाद में बात करेंगे ओके क्योंकि अभी आपको बहुत लेट हो चुका है क्योंकि Thank you, thank you, thank you, Rajan ji, for joining us. Hi, Rajan. Yes. Well, well, in executing my responsibility, I start with the last comments of uh, uh, our Doma sir. Really, uh, those who are the old person, they will definitely insist for these things. And I am quite happy to inform him that also in my school college, way back in 1973, we were uh, using Chandravati, and is still in our ENT research department. Dr. Gunjan Sharma is there as per the say cases 
she also uh, ties with the uh, this uh, chandodavarti and get it prepared by her uh, md scholars one more thing when i was studying uh, in graduation in school there was also a project given by state government up state government uh, for the with the uh, this uh, trifla grant for the uh, vision improvement i do remember that uh, नेत्र ज्योति वर्धन के लिए त्रिफला गति की प्रोजेक्ट थी जो हमारे कम से कम दो तीन चार साल चाहिए डॉक्टर प्रोफेसर के सी वर्मा जी एंड समीग्स दे डिड ए लॉट एंड इट वॉन्ट अ वंडरफुल वर्क मीन्स इम्प्रूवमेंट गिविंग इन द विजन करेक्शन सो दो पर्सन लाइक डोमा जी डेफिनेटली आवर गोल्ड टेस्ट इज टाइम टेस्टेड द ऋषि वर्ल्ड इट सेल्फ इज रियली सेल्फ um say well directed so uh, if it is even when I am, in my department it is happening in in our college in shalyaka department uh, there is that work is there so as and when they they go with the uh, different different uh, chandodavarti contents and um, having a data so that can be visited uh, shalyaka department may be visited for the reals anyway so thank you so much uh, professor uh, madan sir and uh, dr pavan sharma ji Uh, i extend my regards to professor bishwabjad sharma ji uh, dr om prakash daditji ji dr uh, jp singh sahab professor manan sir hoye dr uh, harish varma ji uh, dr kamini dhiman ji uh, dr jagdish toma ji and uh, dr sangeeta uh, manjisha ji and uh, our uh, vaidya jayesh chakkar ji and vaidya uh, rajan patankar ji and our anand prakash uh, pandey ji um, uh, they were maintaining uh, uh, very much and medul atre ji uh, uh, our today's webinar was uh, well inaugurated by professor vishnu uh, bishat uh, sharma ji from assam guwahati and uh, blessed by our dr uh, professor om prakash nadhi uh, ji ji with the starting words that uh, uh, there are so many uh, say uh, sea source uh, calcium containing um, dravyas are there Uh, as it is known as ratnakar sagar is always ratnakar and uh, it is giving so many things uh, at its uh, source uh, so uh, collection and getting it purified these are all the process which was very well in deep discussed with the uh, dr uh, bharat rathi ji and he took each and every uh, means a little part like uh, uh, under the heading of sudha varg and ras shastra and he also pointed out that the Uh, jangam advid and parthiv sources are categorized so in in the same continuation say shank vasm shank ke total characteristics of their preparations mukta shukti praval uh, samudfen and kurn um, prast and uh, dr pavan sharma will be happy to note that he also talked about the ambar uh, coming from the well he used to say that is really rare thing which is not there so uh, though it was a, a little bit uh, network glitch throughout our webinar today on everybody's presentation reluctantly we could not get the total uh, full work of uh, our um, uh, the second speaker that our hiramad ji though he was uh, having very good knowledge and yesterday professor cv ja sahab telling that he did some work under him so he is also full of knowledge uh, with the special uh, aspects of our uh, sea source uh, um preparations like shank mukta praval shukti and all that and with a special reference to the calcium carbonate magnesium magnesium sulfur all these uh, elements are there but the main topic which was left we study is the same point remain highlighted today also regarding the shodhan and uh, out of the shodhan how the nano particles are getting more and more um say um, elements from the sources of uh, the kasundi kwat decoction or any bhavna dev so this is one thing um, uh, which was doing under the almagiri of our ayurvedic system right from the time of um, with the nagarjuna so this is all been given uh, definitely that stuff in test form was not there in those days but still it it is remaining a challenge to be established by the new year new year modern era scientist that uh, why and what difference they created in those days of when uh, in 
today's reference can be said that it was not uh, the, the era where the science was developed as it is in nowadays. So after that, our um, discussions with uh, Dr. J. P. Singh Sab, as he is so senior and enjoying 80 years of his age and 50 years of manufacturing and experience, he, he cannot he cannot be given the, the smallest bluff to his uh, whole system as he is knowing that uh, any person's preparation, if it is highlighted only because of the uh, politicians, will not go away. It should be it should be acute with the its efficacy. So all these uh, good words. Uh, I congratulate today's speakers, and uh, we also got today a very good successful webinar. On uh, today, it is the uh, 349th. So uh, our regards to all the senior persons and greetings to the our landed uh, speakers. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Agnihotri ji, one thing for Harish Verma, the vitamin D, calcium, which is for absorption, for विचित्रता मालूम करी बोल दी आप बोल दीजिए रिकॉर्ड में आ जाएगा बोल दी हाँ ये इतना ही बोल रहा हूँ हम देते सो समय पर व्हीकल का बहुत ध्यान देते जो अच्छी तरह से कमेंड रहता है इवन मैं कुछ लोगों के वो मस्का में खाने के लिए देता हूँ हर उसी को कुछ लोगों को जो है ना वही शंक भस्मा इसमें दोनों का क्यों देता हूँ वैसा उसका प्रकृति देख करके और उसका माइन्यूटली कैसा काम करना और जहाँ कहीं भी इसका व्हीकल ट्विस्ट करता है कपड़े व्हीकल का जो सही अनुपान जो देने का रहता है वो जो है ना आखल वहीं पर चलता है वैद्य का बहुत से टैक्स में तो है ही है लेकिन तुम सेलेक्ट करो पहले अनुपान भेद से सेम सम वही स्वाही आवश्यकता विभिन्न गुणों से युक्त हो जाती है उन्होंने भी तो बताया था कहीं हम नीबू के रस से दे रहे हैं और कहीं पर हम इक्षु रस से दे रहे हैं कहीं पर हम चाय से दे रहे हैं उसका कारण ये हम कौन सा रियल उसे प्राप्त करना चाहते हैं और किस संस्थान पर काम करना चाहते हाँ जी इसी के साथ ही मैं ये बोलता हूँ कि वो विटामिन के साथ दिए तो दर्शन होता ये ये तो मेरा अनुचित डिस्कशन बोलता हूँ कि पहले सुनो पहले ये देखो डोंट पुट दी लेंस ऑफ मॉडर्न मेडिसिन विच अब्सर्ब्स विच विथ विच इट इज़ नॉट नेसेसरी एंड एट द सेम टाइम यू सी एनालिसिस बाय गिविंग बटर but you don't add that you are D vitamin or E vitamin or uh, K vitamin. I say simply. Point. Thank, thank you, Domaji. Point. Point noted. Thank you. Thank you very much. And Agniyotri ji. Namaskar ji. Good night. Domaji, good night. Namaskar. Jayesh ji, good night. Pavan ji. We'll end the meeting for all. Thank you. Good night. We meet tomorrow, 350th webinar. Three, two.